Okay, get that to the BCPD and have it processed. Pull up all the surveillance footage from the evidence room. I need to find out how the hell that weapon got out of police custody. Yes, Commissioner. Oh, and if anyone has heard from Detective McBain, I need to know about it. You got it. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, yeah. What are you doing here? Well, I called the station. They told me where you were. Are you okay? I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Well, they said on the news that Lucy Cole pulled a gun on you. How the hell does that get released to the press? I guess somebody thought it was newsworthy. Yeah, she did. She knocked out one of my offices and she pulled a gun on me. But, uh, I'm fine. All in a day's work. Yeah, got a little tense. She's in custody again. So, you don't have to come down here and check up on me. You're important to me, Slim. Thanks. Look, I meant what I said. I'm ready to fight for you. For us. But it's a little difficult when you don't return my calls. Yeah, sorry. I haven't been returning your phone calls. I'm, I'm really busy. Yeah. So what's going on? Who did it? I'm afraid to find out. No, John isn't a murderer. I know that. But there's all these inexplicable things that keep happening. And I can't simply ignore them. The station? Wait. That's Dick. Don't answer it. Please, let's, let's talk this through first. This is Anna Devane. Sorry to have missed you. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. If this is a police emergency, please call 911. Anna, it's Duke. I just saw the story about Lucy Co assaulting you. I was wondering how you were doing. Would you please call me? I'm thinking about you. Am I losing it? No. No, I, I mean, I keep trusting the wrong people. You know, when Duke came back, after 20 years, I thought he was dead, and I wouldn't have a word said against him, not even what you and Robert were saying. I wouldn't believe you. And then, you know, it turned out to be Faison. I just... Are my instincts that off? Anna, you've been through so much since losing Robin. Now there's all this evidence against John, and I, and I have known him for years. He's a good friend, and I've trusted him. And could he be a killer? Am I wrong about him, too? I don't even know who to count on anymore. Me. You can count on me. This. I'm, I'm not thinking straight. No, you're not thinking. You're feeling. We're both just feeling. What was that? Hello? Looks like an alley cat or something tipped over a trash can. Okay, possibly. Mason? Hey, okay, it sounded like there was somebody back here. Can you go around there and have a look for me? Thanks. I have to get back to work now. Yeah, I know you do, and I'm going to let you go. I just need to say something first. Either send me my delivery by tomorrow morning or I'm going to cancel our beverage contract with you. Thank you. Shh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom! Yeah. Oh my god, Mom! <laughs> I didn't plan on falling in love with you. You've been through a terrible loss and I just wanted to be a friend. I just wanted to be somebody you could 
count on, somebody you could confide in. You were. You were that. But then when you got on your feet, it became more than friendship. At least for me. Look, we're both very independent people. We're both more than capable of going down this road on our own. But right. why should we? Why should we take the ride together? Well, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. I... I've lost faith in my own judgment. You know, I can't make these kind of decisions right now. I'm not in any kind of position to do that. Look, I want to fight for us. But I need to know that there's something to fight for. So just be honest. Have I already lost this battle? I can't believe that you're back! <laughs> Are you okay? Yes! Yes, I'm okay. glad I saw the doctor before I left, and all my levels are fine. I passed all my tests with flying colors. It just, okay. when I heard that you were going to make me a grandmother, I just went straight to the airport. And so here I am! <laughs> and look at you, my beautiful girl, so happy. I am happy. I'm so happy, and Dante's happy, and Maxie's showing a little. Oh, a little, really? Yeah, oh, it's so exciting. I don't know how much you wanted to have a family, sweetie. Does Lucky know that you're here? No, I don't think he does. Uh, you know, I get a postcard from him every month or so, but he really never got in the habit of checking in by phone. Oh, he didn't visit you in Paris? Uh, no. I, I saw him last year in Ireland. Found him sitting in a churchyard of all places. <laughs> How did you know where to find him? It was part detective work and part sort of maternal instinct. Um, but, you know... It was a really, really nice long visit, and we talked about everything under the sun. And we even went back to this little village that your dad and I lived in when Lucky was a little boy. Wow, I'm very happy that he got that time with you. Yeah, I'm happy I had that time with him. And now I get to have time with you, the little mother-to-be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I feel like I hit the lotto. Both of my parents in the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. Does Dad know that you're here? No, he doesn't. I, I think it's going to be a big surprise for him. I don't want to talk about this right now, right? You know, well, that doesn't that. sound good. That sounds like you're breaking up with me. Oh, we haven't been together for quite some time. Is this because of labor? Not the way you mean. Seeing him again has reminded me of what it was like when I was first with him, when we were in love. The intensity, you know? God, I just used to look at him and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't think. And I just needed to be near him. That was such a long time of ago. Of course it was, I know. And things might not even work out between him and me. But it just... It's made me feel the way I used to. I want to feel that way again if I can. I want to feel that once in a lifetime thing that I had with you. Well, you, you had with Laura. So how's your dad? Exactly the same. Uh, he was shot in a Turkish prison. He's okay. But uh, with stunts like that, I'm not sure I trust him to babysit. You turned out all right. Because of you. Is he seeing anyone? Um, Anna Devane, sort of. Sort of? What do you mean, sort of? I, I don't know where they stand. Why? Now, Laura has her own life in Paris. We've been over for a long time. Yeah, but have you ever felt what you felt with her with anyone else? No, you haven't. It was a remarkable time in my life. Right. But it's over. And it's been over for years. The worst possible thing is to try to recapture the past. Yeah. It poisons the present. Right. And it twists your memories so that you can't even recognize them anymore. Life moves in one direction, Slim, forward. I pride myself on appreciating my past and then letting it go. And moving on. 
I think maybe you and I, we have different expectations for our lives, you know. And isn't it better that we realize it now? You know, don't you think so? So this is goodbye. You helped get me back on my feet after I lost Robin, and I'll never forget that. And I'll always be grateful you to you. You don't have to be grateful. Yes, I was happy I do. to do it. I was happy just to be near you. You are an amazing woman. Oh, God. anyway can we sure yeah we'll always have the metro corp <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite paris want our family to be happy, that's all. And if Anna makes your dad happy... Lulu, we need to talk. I... I'm sorry to interrupt. I... Um, can we do this later? My, my mother and I are catching up. You and Anna? Yes. Hi. And you are? Hi. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Star Manning. I know that that was very rude, but I... My late fiancé read me this story about poor Charles, something about a left-handed boy and freezing the town, and uh, Luke and Laura... You're a legend. Uh, you were star-crossed lovers. Yes, we were. We still are. Um, sorry, can we do talk later? I mean, you know what? Why don't you two talk now? Because I really need to unpack and I need to get some sleep. Okay, you're staying at the Metro Court. I will call you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yay, I love you. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, you too, Anna. <laughs> you too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, so what's up? What do you want to talk about? Johnny Sakara. Charles. <laughs> yeah, I did see Luke. And I think we should go ahead with our plans. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank this you. is such a surprise. I didn't know you were in town. Well, nobody does. Except Lulu. Oh. I, I just wasn't exactly planned. I just couldn't stay away any longer, that's all. I wanted to see my grandson. Cameron. This is your daddy's mommy. Do you remember her? Yes. Oh, you do? Oh, my goodness. I am so, so glad. And that must be Aiden. Hello, honey. Aiden, I am your grandmother, and I brought you some presents. <gasps> presents? Let's see what I've got. That's Aiden, for you. My did you hear that? She has presents for you. That's for your little brother. Thank you. That's for Thank you, you Aiden. Aiden. Why don't you go um, take your brother to the couch, and you guys can open them. Aiden, okay? Go open our presents. Come on, Aiden. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, just adorable. You're so big. I know. Oh, you know, Aiden.
feet and looks just like Lucky did at this age. Do you ever hear from him? Uh, not very often, no. I think he he's still finding himself. Mm. Well, I hope he succeeds. Yeah. So good to see you. And you look amazing. Oh, why, thank you. And you, my dear, more beautiful than ever. Oh, please, can you stay for a while? Can I take your jacket? It, sure, that would be great if, if you don't mind. Oh, I'd love for you, too. Okay, just a little. Thank you. So, oh, they're going to open them up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I hope you don't mind my asking. I was just wondering if, uh, if there's anybody new in your life. Oh, no. <laughs> no? no. Uh, there was this one guy, and it was a train wreck, and then another, but the timing wasn't right. I, I guess I just don't have a very good track record when it comes to romance. I'm sorry, honey. No, don't be sorry. It's not like I'm looking. And I'd rather focus on my my real true loves. What I got? Oh, look what you got! <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you are so lucky to have them, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth. That's here. You're a very young lady, you know. I know that love is the toughest thing to get right, but when you do. Just sort of makes everything else better. So have you seen Luke yet? Yes, I've seen him, but he didn't see me. He was a little bit busy kissing Anna Devane. Ah, delicious. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for the presents. Uh, it's so they're perfect and generous. I, I, uh, they're just at such fun ages. I couldn't resist picking out a few little things. Well, the puzzle's going to keep him busy forever. Mm -hmm. Which is a good thing because I wanted to ask you how to make you feel when you saw Luke kissing Anna. Uh, you know, if if Luke is happy, then I'm happy for him. That was enthusiastic. Do you know, Elizabeth, that, that Luke and I were over a long time ago? And I guess it was just pretty obvious that he has moved on. Have you? That relishes my manifest destiny. I will figure out what the recipe is. I will put it back in production, and it will be a huge success. With the proceeds, I will restore ELQ to solvency. Sing it, sister. <laughs> AG is right about one thing, however. In order for my plan to work, I have to be CEO again, so we have got to find the missing Quartermain heir. The daughter that Franco may or may not have, who has 6% of Edward's stock. I need her, Luke. I need her vote. I know. And don't worry, I have not given up on Laura. What did you I said I haven't given up on Laura. I'm going to find her for no, you. No, 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 no. That's not what you said. You said you haven't given up on Laura. Excuse me, your Freudian slip is showing. Oh, I did not. And even if I did, that's not a Freudian slip. That's just a slip of the tongue, a mistake. Uh-huh. You know what Freud says about mistakes? There are none. Just because the man had a beard doesn't mean he was right about everything. Why are you pining after Laura? I'm not pining. Anna just threw her in my face when she dumped me last night. Excuse me? When I rushed over there to see if Anna was okay, she kicked me to the curb. Hmm. Because of Laura? Anna said that ours is not a great love. Like hers is with Duke and mine is with... Maybe she's right. I'm sorry. Forget I said that. I, I should not have asked if you moved on. I realize that is incredibly personal and, and it's okay. out of my business. It's okay, really. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Actually, um, can I tell you something? Yes, please. Oh, just hold that thought. <laughs> It's okay to stop by. I was kind of hoping we could talk. I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize you had company. Laura? <laughs> hey, 
A.G. Quartermain. Wow, it has been a long time since we've seen each other. Uh, yes, I know. It's good to see you looking so well. Boys, uh, if you'll excuse me, uh, Grandma has to go now, so can I have a hug? Bye-bye. Oh, so good to see you. Bye-bye. Thank you for this. You're welcome, dear. You're so welcome. <sighs> well, it's really nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> hmm. Guys, you want to let me play? Thank you so much for coming over. God, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too, honey. And listen, I know you think that you want to be alone right now, but don't give up on love. Trust me. Relax. No, I was not visiting Luke. I have no intentions of seeing him. I came here to visit my grandsons. Will you please try to calm down? All right. All right, then. I will see you soon. Valentine's Day, Mr. Falconer. So I'm thinking maybe we should go up to the deck and have our own little celebration of this. Ooh, I like where you have that. Let me get a little champagne. What? Finally! Don't look so innocent. I know what you're up to. Gee, Dante, you shouldn't have. Uh, I, I didn't. You didn't give this to me? Have you met me? Why would I give you a... Uh, I mean, what the hell is that? Your guess is as good as mine. Laura. Hello, Luke. Black rock on a stick. Maybe it's art. Well, it ain't speaking to me. I wonder who sent it. Who do you know with bad taste? Ah, <laughs> is your card? Well, all I saw is the. So it was you. When? Um, there, on the pier. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. <laughs> well, wouldn't be the first time, would it? Sure was. Are you in trouble now? I'm fine. I just came to see our daughter because I heard that we were going to be grandparents again. Oh, yes. I guess we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's inside if you want to speak to her. I've seen her already. And you. Yesterday on the pier. Why didn't you say something? You were a little busy. You were with Anna Devane. Dear Lulu, I saw this and thought of you. No signature. <laughs> Looks like I have a secret admirer. Well, if I was given a gift like that, I'd keep it secret too. 
Hey, what did you get for Valentine's Day? Champagne, roses, chocolate? I got a rock on a stick. All right, look, the night is still young. Why don't we get out of here on the way home? We'll check that thing in the river and uh, maybe, just maybe, there might be some surprises waiting for you there. Oh, well, then I think I'll go talk to Star. Hey, do you feel comfortable shutting down tonight because I have been here every single night ever since Johnny was arrested and I really, really would like some alone time with Dante. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay. Michael's here with me, so he can help. Awesome. Just call me if you have any problems, okay? Uh -huh. Thank you so oh, much. No problem. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, you guys, too. Happy Bye. Valentine's yeah, Day. Thank fun. you, little brother. Okay. Have you heard from Lucky? Well, we had a wonderful long visit together last year in Ireland, but since then, um, I get a postcard every once in a while. Seems to be traveling an awful lot. Well, he's in love with the open road. Yeah. Wonder where he gets that. Dad! Mom! You guys found each other. Yes, we did. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day! Thank hey, you. Laura, great to see you. Dante, good to see you. You look terrific. Thank you. Uh, I guess you've heard you heard about the baby and everything. Oh yes, yes. You're going to be a wonderful father. Thank you. And with you and my beautiful daughter as a mother. Not to mention the great grandparents. <laughs> yes, and the baby is truly blessed. Uh, well, if you need anything, um, Star will help you guys because. We're trying to sneak away while we still can. Yes, before your secret admirer finds you. Yeah, I have a secret admirer. He has such great taste. He got me that! Wow. Where'd you get that? Uh, we don't know. Someone just left it for her. Why? Well, we've seen this before. What is it? It looks like the original Ice Princess. I thought the Ice Princess was a diamond. This looks like a burnt cake pop. <laughs> well, honey, before a diamond is cut and polished, it looks just like an ordinary rock. When the Ice Princess first surfaced, it looked like that. It was uncut. Nobody knew what was underneath. Lulu, are you sure this was meant for you? Yeah, that's what the note said. Here, take a look. Let's say you sent it. Well, there can only be so many possibilities, right? Should have to get her hands on it first. Who's she? Well, your mother and I had so many enemies in those days, it's kind of useless to speculate. Sure, but you two obviously have a pretty good idea who it might be. Helena. Cassidine. Do you think Helena Cassidyne sent me this? Seriously? Well, I can't be sure. But she was always obsessed with the Ice Princess. So the note says, saw this and thought of you. Why, why would Helena be thinking about Lulu? I don't know. She used it to control Lucky. Well, if she thinks that she could control me with this, she's out of her mind. Well, you're right there. She's always been a couple of aces. Short of a full deck. The last time I saw the Ice Princess, it was tucked away safely in a vault in Zurich. Oh, see there? Like I said, she's crazy. She's nuts. She's not without some smarts. So there's no way that Helena has this diamond? Well, the last time I saw it, it was in Switzerland. But I suppose she could have gotten uh, her hands on it. But what is she trying to say to Lulu? Well, we're not going to figure this out tonight, and it's getting late, so we're going to head home. But you two have fun? Yeah. Do me a favor, keep your eyes open. Hey, this one is safe with me. Of course she is. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Thank Day. You. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Thanks. I've got a bad feeling about this. I do too. What do you think it means? Worst case, some psycho from our past is trying to haunt us with the ugliest part of our history. 
Who you calling ugly? I'll be damned. Baldwin. If you think for one second that you're going to start messing with my family... Luke, don't do this. Please. Why are you here? What's your game? What do you want? Why do you think I'm here, Spencer? For Laura. You're so delusional. You're still stalking Laura? This is the story of your life. Why would I be stalking my own fiancé? Just call her your fiancé. Yeah, that's what I call her because that's what she is, Spencer. It's true. Scotty and I are engaged to be married. I'm marrying this loser? Yeah. I'm marrying Scotty. Well, what did he do? Take advantage of you when you weren't thinking clearly? No. I knew exactly what I was doing when I accepted his proposal. You don't have a ring. Well, we haven't had time to get one yet, but Scotty promised me a beautiful one, right? Yes, yes, and it will pale in comparison to you. <laughs> Smarmy as ever. Here's what's forever. We're going to get married, and we're going to have a whole new life together. Laura. You look me in the eye and you tell me that you really want to marry this. I want to marry Scotty. Why? Is this really what you want? Or is he pressuring you, playing on your loyalties? You deserve so much better. This is what I want. I love Scotty. And I want to marry him. Shall we? Love was Spencer. We're closed. I'm not here for a drink. We're still closed. Well, you are your father's daughter. Thank you. So, um, I thought we could uh, clear the air, settle some unfinished business, like the fact that you killed my son. Don't keep me in suspense. If you're in trouble, I want to know. I'm not in trouble. I'm just surprised. I ran into my ex. Oh. Why don't you do beg Anna to take you back? Was Duke there? Tell me you at least were standing, not sitting, or on your hands and knees groveling in public. Do you really think I'd get on my knees and grovel? Are my concerns not valid? Maybe, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, what the hell happened to you on Valentine's night? I ran into Laura. When I just randomly killed your son, is, is that how you think of it? Listen, uh, we don't have to relive this. Logan stalked me. He terrorized me. He attacked me. I never meant to hurt him, but he came at me. You can choose to believe that or not. Lulu, time and distance has allowed me to see things more clearly. I'd like to put that behind us, and I'd like to work on a better relationship with you as we move forward. Oh, okay. Well, how about this? How about we move forward and we have no relationship whatsoever? Okay. No, it's not okay. Would you please excuse me? I have to put all of these decorations away and get the new theme loaded in. You got a new theme? Yeah, the Oscars are this Sunday. Oscars, huh? Yes, they're a lot of fun and people watch them. Why are you still here? Because I'm hoping that you're going to give me a second chance now that we're going to be family. What are you talking about? I'm going to be your stepfather. Your beautiful mother has agreed to marry me. Laura? Not Lauren, the missing quarter main heir, another Freudian slip? No, not this time. Laura, Laura? Laura, Vining, Weber, Baldwin, Spencer, mother of Lulu, Lucky, and Nicholas? That's the one. I didn't even know she was in the country. I walked into her on the deck of the Haunted Star. That was the ex you were referring to? It's not what you were expecting, is it? 
thought the whole point was that she was supposed to stay in Paris so that she could get outpatient treatment from her specialists. Well, apparently her doctors feel she's well enough to travel. And there's no place she'd rather be than next to Lulu while Lulu and Dante await the birth of their child. That's part of it. I'm sorry that you felt blindsided given your history. It must have been pretty awkward. Well, it got really awkward when she introduced her fiancé. Her fiancé? Oh. She's found a new man. No, she found an old man. Scott Baldwin. Scotty, I thought you were going to wait for me. Hello, beautiful. Did you, did you get my note? Yes, I got it, and thank you for leaving it, but I wish that you would have waited for me to tell my daughter about this. I just wanted to talk to Lulu privately. I hope you're not upset that I let the cat out of the bag, but, you know, it's not exactly a secret, right? No, of course it's not a secret. It's just that I would have liked to have been the one to tell my daughter about our engagement. Well, I just assumed you might have, you know, shared the good news. Okay, one, no one believes you. And two, please tell me that he's lying. Tell me that you're not going to marry this man after what he did to me, what he did to you. Lulu, those things are in the past. Could you give me some time alone with my daughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some business to take care of, so I'll come back and pick you up later. Lulu... I'm glad we had this talk. Mom, what are you doing? Baldwin? Yep. The oily ambulance chaser with the spiky hair and the dangerously high forehead. That's even higher now. And Laura is... Back together with him. I thought you said she was better. Well, apparently I was... Misinformed. Doesn't she remember all the hideous things that Scott Baldwin did? If she does, she has gotten past them. Not me. I remember every detail of what he's done to my family. It was all I could do not to throw him off the deck of that boat. Why didn't you? Because she loves him. Then you were right not to get involved. Who are you and what have you done with the vindictive dark angel that I so adore? Laura is a grown-up, diminished capacity perhaps but a grown-up nonetheless and if she has the poor taste to marry scott baldwin for the second time let her have him i don't think so why would you go back to scott baldwin okay i'm not going back to scott baldwin what happened was we just sort of ran into each other in paris shortly after uh. i moved there Okay, so let me guess, you were just strolling down the Champs-Elysees with a bottle of wine and a couple of baguettes, and he just happened to bump into you out of nowhere. Yeah, it was pretty much exactly like that. Oh, no, no, I don't think it's a coincidence, I don't. Oh, so he was stalking you. <laughs> like father, like son. Lulu, to tell you the truth, uh, it was kind of nice to see a familiar face. I was working really hard to rebuild my life. And Scotty turned out to be incredibly supportive of that. Mm. So what does he want? He wants to rebuild his life, and I guess he wants someone to rebuild it with. Oh, please! Okay. Okay, here's the important part. We reconnected. And I don't know if you know this, but we were each other's first loves. I'm sorry, but that doesn't erase everything that has happened since then. No, it doesn't, but we've talked about it. Uh, we've admitted our mistakes and, and the pain that we've caused each other. And while we were sort of leaning on each other, some of those old feelings just came back. Hmm. Okay. So I have one question for you. Why didn't you tell me any of this? I didn't really want to go into all that on the phone. Yeah, but what about the day you came back? We had this whole conversation. You never once mentioned that you were engaged. I wasn't engaged then. I mean, Scotty had already asked me to marry him, yes, but I, I wasn't sure what my answer was going to be. Until and you saw Dad kissing Anna. Every right to see whoever he wants to see. But how did you hear about this? Elizabeth mentioned that you had seen Dad kissing Anna the night you came back. She thought that I knew. She tried to change the subject, and I pressed her, and she told me. What I'm wondering is why well, you didn't tell me. 
Kind of an awkward subject to discuss with your daughter. Mm. Besides, there was no point. The point is timing. You accept Scott's proposal after you saw Dad and Anna kissing. Is that why you came back? No. To test the waters with Dad? No, I came back for you and Dante and the baby. But if you hadn't seen Dad and Anna kissing, then what? There's no way in hell I'm going to let Laura marry that sewer rat. Not that it's any of your business. She's unwell, Tracy. He's taking advantage of her. Maybe. But it is no longer your job to rescue Laura. Not that you can help yourself. What are you talking about? <sighs> Luke, why did Anna dump you? Because you're not the love of her life. And she's not the love of your life. In her heart of hearts, Anna still loves Duke. And you have never stopped loving Laura. And lo and behold, miracle of miracles, hours after Anna sets you free, Laura arrives in town. It's kismet. Gesundheit. Look at me. Do you really expect me to believe that you did not look in Laura's eyes and think, oh, finally, I get to have her back? Don't be silly. Of course I want to marry Scotty. Now. But if you hadn't seen Dad with another woman, would you have accepted Scott's proposal? And I are over, Tracy. We've been over for a long time. It was just a shock seeing her, that's all. Do go on. What we had is finished. We've both moved on. Mm. When did you move on? I moved on with you, twice. And look where you are now, single. And what are you focusing on? Protecting Laura from Scott Baldwin again. You haven't moved on, and I bet you hope Laura hasn't moved on either. Of course I hope she's moved on. She deserves happiness. She deserves to be loved, but not by somebody as worthless as Scott Baldwin. Lulu, what does it matter when I made the decision to marry Scotty? I, I made the decision, and I am confident that it is the right one. That's not an answer. Oh, all right, okay. Maybe I, I, I maybe I did want to see if there was anything left Th between your dad and me. Don't you think you and dad should have talked? No, because it turns out I, I didn't need to. Because you saw him kissing Anna? Y yeah, that's when it hit home for me. Absolutely, your father has moved on. I need to do that, too. Okay. But I don't think marrying a man that you divorced in 81 is moving on. And frankly, I don't even know if Dad's moved on. I don't know where he stands with Anna, so... Well, I saw them together, and I am pretty sure where they stand. Just be honest with yourself. Is not being able to be with Dad a good enough reason to marry Scott? Look who's back. Why shouldn't I want to protect Laura from Baldwin? That sleazeball with his bad luck troll hair is the worst possible thing for her. You said so yourself. I did? Now what? The Ice Princess. Ice Princess? That ridiculous diamond that the inbred Cassidines used to try to freeze poor Charles? What on earth does that have to do with anything? A replica of it showed up at Lulu's doorstep. A rock on a stick? The original Ice Princess held the formula to carbonic snow. <laughs> That's a sentence I didn't expect to hear today. And now a replica of it shows up with an unsigned note. Now I thought that Helena must have been the one who sent it to her, but now with this timing... What are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe it wasn't the dragon lady after all. Hey, did you get all your business done? Y yeah, well, no, not really. I went to the police station to see Lucy, but she wasn't there. Oh, did you run into anybody else? <laughs> no, no, the whole trip was kind of a waste of time. So, did you guys have a nice talk? Did, did Laura convince you that my... Intentions are honorable? The word honorable never came up. Lulu, I... I know I didn't believe you when you said you didn't kill Logan, so... Why should you believe me when I tell you that I'm in love with Laura? I've always been in love with Laura, so... Now that we're getting married... 
I'd like to uh, bury the hatchet as long as it's not in the back of my head. <laughs> Lulu, please. For me. The Ice Princess caused nothing but pain and suffering. And now a reminder of it shows up in our lives. And you think that the timing is too convenient? I think that replica was sent by Scott Baldwin. If it'll make my mom happy. <sighs> she gets out of the messes she gets into. Yeah, and it looks like Luke's girlfriend came out ahead, too. It's none of your business, but I'm no longer seeing him. Anna's not so bad. Did I say she was? Huh? No. <laughs> I'm glad everything worked out for everyone. We might as well wish for their happiness, too, right? Luke! Excuse me. You son of a bitch, I know what you did. Fess up, Baldwin. Luke, what are you doing? Ranting like a lunatic. What else is new? Oh, Luke, I'm sure you have a good reason for whatever it is you're doing here. Ask your fiance. Helena Cassadine didn't send Lulu that phony ice princess. He did. Princess is the reason Miko's Cassadine is dead. It had to have been Helena who sent the replica. Yeah, well, that's what he wants you to think. Spoken like a true paranoid. Look at the timing. The same night that you arrive in Port Charles with this mutt sniffing after you, Lulu gets that phony ice princess sent to her. Come on! It, what? Why would Scotty want to do that? Because he's the same spiteful twerp he's always been. He's had a grudge against us that goes all the way back to when he crashed our wedding. That was a long time ago. It was a lifetime ago for most of us. Yeah, well, his resentment has only grown. He blames Lulu for the death of his deadbeat son. Watch it, Spencer. Open your eyes, Laura. Your fiancé is here for vengeance. It's Lulu for the death of his son, even though Logan attacked her and she was just trying to protect herself. Lulu and I have made peace. If you don't believe me, ask Laura. It's true. I was there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. Were you also there when his idea of reconciliation was threatening Lulu with lethal injection? Scotty was stricken with grief. Uh, he has come to terms with the death of his son now, and he does want to make up for his mistakes. How? By gaslighting our daughter? Okay, Luke, explain this to me, all right? How, how is it that uh, Scotty sending a replica of the Ice Princess to our daughter is going to get back at Lulu? I mean... She didn't know what the thing was, so what's the thinking behind that? Laura, you can't try and reason with him. He's never going to be honest about what's making him really monkey crazy. Oh, but you are honest, oh pillar of truth and integrity. It's about you, Laura. He just can't fathom that you've moved on with your life and that you've moved on with me. Ah, oh, come on, admit it, Spencer. The reason why you're spouting all these theories is because you're trying to shake Laura's confidence in me because you want her for yourself. What I want is for you to stay away from my family. Okay, look. We're all letting the past cloud our judgment. And the truth is that everyone, Luke included, moved on a long time ago. What's important here is that somebody did send that replica to Lulu. And that's what we should be thinking about now. Well, I didn't do it, and I'm not going to stand here and take it. You know what? I'm going to throw you out of here. Don't you? Stop it. You know what? I'm going to mess myself up with you. I'm going to call security. <sighs> I bet you've been thrown in this hotel before, huh? Luke, please. You, you should probably go now. Yeah. You stay away from my daughter. <sighs> Laura, think about what I said. Boy, he is truly a crackpot. Let's go get some dinner. Come on, you're not buying his four-day-old fish story there. Why would I would never hurt Lulu. I know. But I wish that you wouldn't goad Luke like that. Yeah, he's such a...
such an easy target. Yeah, but, you know, come on, all that stuff about how he wants me back, it's not true. It isn't. We both know that he's with Anna now. Hey, Where is everybody? Um, Dante went to go get his mom. But I'm guessing that's not who you meant by everybody? Laura? Oh, oh you scared me, Scotty. I didn't hear you come in. Is there a reason why you're going down memory lane? So you're not hoping to see anyone else? Just your sonogram photograph. Although, you know, I don't know why people make such a fuss over those things. They, never, uh, they don't even look like a kid. They look like a Rorschach test. <gasps> okay. Well, just so you know, I invited Mom. Okay. Listen, um, since we have a minute, you haven't received any more of those weird gifts like the Ice Princess? No, thing. no. So I guess Elena has better things to do with her time than try to freak me out. Yeah, if it's Helena. I was looking for pictures of Lulu as a baby. She called me, and she invited me to come over and see the photo from her first sonogram. Sonogram? Yeah. yeah well, Maxie's almost at the end of her first trimester. Wow. Yeah. It's very exciting, the first sonogram, you know? Makes everything so much more real, makes the baby more real, and I thought, you know... If she wants to show me a picture of her baby, that she might enjoy seeing pictures of herself as a baby. I would love to see your face when you see the first shot of your grandchild. Uh, so, can I tag along? Um, Scotty, I'd kind of rather you didn't. Laura, wait a second. You're not believing any of that nonsense that Spencer was saying that I've got some vendetta against Lulu. I mean, I'm trying to gaslight her because no, of Logan. No, I don't believe that at all. Why can't I go? <laughs> no, it's not a big deal. Don't make it one. Luke gonna be there? I don't have any idea. Well, if he is, are you thinking about telling him that uh, Anna is stepping out with Duke? Look, um, why would I be thinking about what to tell Luke if I don't even know if he's gonna be there? I'm just saying I thought that we agreed not to get mixed up in Luke's love life. Remember? So, you think Scott Baldwin sent me the fake ice princess? I wouldn't rule Helena out, but, uh, let's face it, he does have a grudge against you. Yeah, no matter what I say, he still blames me for his son's death. And consider the timing. Same day he shows up in Port Charles, that faux princess thing is sent to you. Have you said anything to Scott about this? Oh, yeah, but of course he denies it. What else would he do, huh? Was Mom there? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Iced tea. Nice. So, nothing's happened since Valentine's Day, so maybe there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, maybe, or maybe he's backing off because he knows I'm on to him. Lulu didn't tell me that she invited Luke over, right? But, even if he is there, I don't have any plans to tell him that his girlfriend's cheating on him. So, uh, why can't I come with you? <laughs> well, because... I kind of want to have a little mother-daughter time. I haven't seen her in such a long time. These moments are precious. I don't get very many of them anymore, you know? Y you must understand that. Of course I do. But before you go, there's a very important question I want to ask you. Well, I can see why you don't trust Scott Baldwin. And you don't either, right? Mm, of course not, but I've decided to stay out of it. I have my own relationship to focus on. So do you. I do? What relationship? Your relationship with Anna. Oh. No, Lulu. The commissioner and I broke up. That's over. You did? I'm sorry. Does Mom know that? There's something you want to ask me? Yeah. Come, come over here and sit down. Should I be a little nervous right well, now? Well, I'm nervous enough for both of us. So. I love you. I've always loved you. And uh, I think it's pretty clear that I'm going to love you forever. So, 
let you do me the honor and be my wife again, forever. I already said yes, honey. Yeah, but I, I didn't have the hardware. <sighs> Is that a yes? Yes. Yes, I will marry you, Scotty. Mm. Mm. If your mother knows anything about me and Anna, she might be interested. I don't see why. Maybe because you guys used to be married and you have two kids together and you're about to be grandparents together for the second time? Well, what the hell difference does all that make to what Laura does or doesn't know? Does or doesn't know what? What don't I know, Lulu? Oh, yeah, we, we just ran into to Laura out in the hallway. Hey, Lou, do you like... Uh... Cannoli? Sure. I, I, I just got you, I got you the kind of cannoli that you like from Luigi's. Thank you. That's so thoughtful. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. Hey, you Sorry. glad you made it. Thanks, Dante. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. It's a Thanks. big day, right? Our first big chance to see Dante and Lulu's baby. <laughs> hey, where's that sonogram picture? Anyway. I will get it right now. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> no, baby, it's in here. It's here. This one. It's kind of special, right? Uh, get the first glimpse of our grandchild. <laughs> yeah, in, in theory. Of course, those pictures never look like a kid. You know, it looks like a bubble in a lava lamp, but whatever. Okay. Mm. Um, I, I just want to say how happy Dante and I are that almost all of the grandparents could be here for this. Where is Sonny? Oh, uh, well, it turns out that, that uh, Kate or uh, Connie... Or, uh, I guess both of them really needed him. Right? So, without further ado... <laughs> your grandchild. Oh, oh my goodness. You've changed so much since I had my... Wow, that is one fine-looking oh. lagoon. Thank you. Wow, you can see how fresh his little hands look. Oh, her? Oh, we, yeah, or him. It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it's a beautiful baby. It's going to be absolutely a look. And one thing's for sure, it's not going to be a dog. <laughs> A dog? Why would Lulu and Tante's baby? It's for no, no reason. No, no one's the baby not going to be a dog. Guys, I'm just so happy. I don't even know what's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. Oh, honey, I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations to you. Thank you. Beautiful baby. And thank you for letting us share. Thank you. Yes, I'm glad you're here. I'm proud of you. So proud of you. Thank you. Very excited. Hey. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> it might be fun for you to see some pictures of you and Lucky. <gasps> yes. Fun, right? Oh my gosh. Let's do this. Oh. <gasps> Look. Oh my gosh. Wow, I was a scrunchy little thing, wasn't I? No, you were a beautiful little thing. And I had <laughs> such high hopes for you, and you have surpassed all of them. <laughs> I can't believe my baby's having a baby. <sighs> I know. <laughs> Sometimes I can't believe it either, since Maxie's the one who's pregnant. It's just weird watching someone else's body nurture your baby. I know, honey. And I know how hard it was on you when you found out that you couldn't carry a child. But please, Lulu, keep it in perspective. Pregnancy is a nine-month experience. Mm -hmm. And motherhood, that's forever. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm happy for you. Gosh, I'm so, so happy you're here to share this with me. I am, too. <laughs> hey, honey, uh, I got this great book for Lulu about being a first-time mom. I think I left it down in your okay, car. Okay, well, sit down. I no, 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 no. You know, I'm a little antsy waiting for the lawyers to call. Let me take the stairs. It'll do me good. So, how are you doing on the search for Helena? Yeah, I've been looking for her ever since Lulu got that fake ice princess yeah, thing. Let me uh, see the cover. There's no sign of her. She's really good at flying under the radar. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a few uh, and the hair. sources of my own that are making inquiries. I appreciate that. <laughs> As long as you're at it, why don't you look into Scott Baldwin? Laura's fiance, Scott Baldwin? Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know that he sent Lulu the fake ice princess, but that guy is definitely up to something. Always, always love this photo. Me too. Look at the smile on your dad's face. <laughs> I love that. Mm. Oh, it's such a shame. Oh, I was wrong. Oh. Well, I promised Scotty that I wouldn't talk to Luke about it, but I didn't say that I wouldn't talk to you about it. About what? Anna is cheating on Luke with Duke Lavery. Oh, no, she's not. Yes, she is. I saw mm. her kissing him. Yep, yeah, you, you may have seen Anna kissing Duke, but um, Anna's not cheating on Dad. Dad and Anna broke up. And Anna broke up? Are you sure? Yeah, positive. He just told me. <sighs> I mean, that's... That's what we were talking about when you walked in. Okay, I have to ask, does it matter to you if Dad's available? Ooh. Ah, what I found outside the door! Whoa! And it oh. is addressed to the new mama. Hey! <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh. It's from Aunt Bobby. Oh. Wow. Hold it. That's... Oh, don't, don't, don't touch it. What? Why not? I don't think that's from Barbara. Makes you think that this isn't from Bobby. It says on here. I, I'm sorry I can't be there to show you. I don't you. care what sorry, it says on the card. Was there a delivery man? Did you sign for it? Was there a receipt? Well, no, no, but your sister probably ordered it online. I think you're lucky to get a typewritten card. It's usually just a, a sentence on a packing slip or something. You guys, seriously, is this such a big deal? Uh, well, it's just that Luke and I collected a lot of enemies in the past. Oh. Come on, wait, this, you're telling me this is someone who wants revenge? Like who? Well, top of my list would be Helena Cassidyne. And a close second would be Scott Baldwin. After Mikos Cassadine was killed, the real Ice Princess was stashed away in a safe spot. Now, lo and behold, a replica of it is given to Lulu as a gift. Oh, okay, hold on. You're telling me that the vengeful widow of some guy that you and Laura killed 30 years ago is out to get Lulu? Well, either her or Laura's eraser-head fiancé. Leave Scotty out of this, please. He, trust me, he was in no way involved in this. Well, so there's got to be Helena. Well, we have no evidence against Helena. Or it so. could be nothing. For all we know, it was no. some kind of practical joke. I, I ain't laughing. Whoa, 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 people. This is no joke. This thing's ticking. At least I think it's ticking. I could be having another okay. one of my woo-woo moments. Anyone else? I hear that? Oh, uh, yeah, I hear it. Okay, yeah, look, everybody out. Let's go. I'll call the bomb squad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bobby? I'm with you. Okay. Lulu. Okay. Lulu. I, I was going to call you. What, 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 what did you say? Come on. I know. I know. When was just it going to be I'm not going to Just relax. I know. Lulu! Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's not a bomb. It's a bear with a clock. It's some kind of a sleep aid for the baby. Okay, great. Uh, Next time, oh. please do not open this when I say don't open it. What are you talking? I, Bobby called me and she told me what it was. She wanted to know if I got the package. I don't so care. You guys can chill. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, no, yeah, I think, I think I'm just a little... I'm just a little wobbly from all the excitement. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. No, no, oh, oh, no, oh, she isn't oh, fine. Oh, oh. Something's wrong. Hang on, look at me. It's okay. Look it's at okay. me. I'm taking you to the hospital. Honey, I don't need to go to the hospital. I don't care what you I'm think just, you need. I'm I, taking you. Don't argue with me. Should okay? I go with you guys? No, no, no. no. You stay here with you your guys. Coach. Can you take it for a second? Yeah. Come yeah. On, We've got her. Look, on. just please, please, oh, don't open it. Any more ticking packages without me. Okay? I won't. I promise. I love you. I love you. See you in a bit. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm sorry oh. about the paranoia. Oh, well. No harm done. Actually, there is harm being done due to cross wires, and that's going to end tonight. Mom, isn't there something you wanted to clear up with Dad? No, there isn't. 
Uh, well, well, yeah, maybe there was something that I, I misunderstood, and I'm a little embarrassed about that now. Don't embarrass your mother. What's going on, Lulu? <laughs> if you're not going to tell him, then I will. What? Dad, were you ever going to tell Mom that you're recently single? I think that my personal love life, such as it is, would be of interest to anybody but me. Well, I guess Lulu's right. You know, wires just sort of got crossed. Okay, so what happened was I, I was walking down the docks a few weeks ago and I just happened to see you there and you were kissing Anna. Oh, that night. Yeah, and just, you know, from the looks of it, it seemed like that was pretty serious. Well, it sort of had been, but it ended that night. Okay. All right, since we're talking about personal things, I have got a question for you. Uh, yeah, sure, fire away. Laura. What's up with your mother? She's not acting like herself. How is she acting? Well, in all the years I've known her, she's never taken to a short leash or any kind of a leash. And now suddenly, Baldwin calls and she's out the door like a shot. Wow. For a guy who prides himself on his savvy. You are thick. What do you mean? Mom was looking for you when she came to Port Charles and she finds you kissing Anna. And then she turns around and gets engaged to Scott. And then she starts acting weird when she finds out that you and Anna were breaking up instead of making up. So? So she only agreed to marry Scott because she thought that you were off the market. Scotty, is everything okay? Yes, 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 everything's fine. At least I, I think it's gonna be. Well, then why did you tell me to drop everything and come running down to the courthouse? So we can get married. Right now. How are you doing in here? Fine. No, you're not fine. She passed out. It was nothing. I probably didn't eat enough today or, or something like that. Honey, we're wasting Patrick's time. Okay, great. Let's let him tell us that. Yeah, let me take a quick look at you here. Fainting yeah. should never be taken lately. How long was she out for, Dante? I wasn't. I wasn't even out. The room just tilted a little bit, then I steadied myself, and that was the end of that. And what were you doing before you passed out? Nothing. I was staring at a bear. Mom only agreed to marry Scott because she thought that you were off the market. No, come on, baby, you're you dreaming. Do not need me to spell this out. No, for you, I don't. Dude. I need you Dad, to leave it alone. Dad, Mom still has feelings for you. <sighs> Scotty, Scotty, why did you tell me to drop everything and run down to the courthouse? So that we can get married right now. <laughs> right now. Yeah. Like, as in, right this second. Give and take a second or two. Uh. We can't do that. Give me a reason. Weddings require a little bit of planning. All we need is this. You got a marriage license. Yeah, we are going to need one sooner or later. Yeah, I know. I just thought maybe that would be something we'd do together. I wanted to surprise you. You did. So, we have a, a bride, you, we have a groom, me, and now we have permission. So, let's do this now. Come on, Laura, let's spend the rest of our lives together, starting tonight. Kevin to the rescue. Oh. All right. Thank oh. you. <laughs> you know, those are going to wilt a bit by the time April rolls around. Oh, well, they're not for the nurse's ball, silly. They're for a wedding we're attending tonight. We're going to a wedding? Yep, that's what I said. And guess what? You're the best man. I just don't understand why our wedding has to happen so fast, you know? What's a big rush? You just grab her and marry her right now. Before she finds out that Luke and Anna aren't together, you grab that girl and you take her and you marry her. Because I, I love you and I, I don't want to wait another minute. It's, it's that simple. 
Okay, but, you know, look what I'm wearing. You look beautiful. That's a permanent condition with you. <laughs> but we don't have any flowers. We don't have rings, you know? What, you got rings? Yes, I got them a while ago in anticipation. Oh, Scotty, I love you. And I do want to marry you. It's just that, I don't know, I kind of wanted our wedding to be something special, something I could tell my new grandchild about. Don't you want that, too? I'm sorry, you're going to have to walk me through this. You encountered a bear. In downtown Lulu's loft. She's talking about a stuffed animal. You saw a stuffed animal and you thought it was alive? Well, it was ticking. We thought it was a bomb. Lulu's father thought it was a bomb. Cupcake, your mother has no desire to tie back up with me. How do you know? Because I asked her mm. about her feelings mm -hmm. for Scott Baldwin. And she told me that rekindling this precious Jurassic puppy love of theirs was the real thing. <laughs> and she told you that she loved him? In no uncertain terms. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't still love you. <sighs> I hate to burst your bubble here, baby, but your mother and I are done. We are not going to get back together. She knows what she wants. And right now, what she wants is to throw the rest of her life away on that slimy toad. This wedding is going to be something to tell the baby about. Oh, yeah, right. Here's a picture of Grandma and Grandpa getting married. There's Grandpa Scotty. And there's Grandma Laura looking like a dog's dinner. <laughs> well, 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 hold on a second there. Now, give me a little credit here. First of all, I've got the mayor officiating. I mean, that's a story in itself. B, Lucy is going to bring you a new dress. Lucy. Lucy, Lucy Coe? Yeah. Why, why, why would Lucy Coe be involved in my wedding? Well, because I ran into her and she said she wanted to help out. She's going to bring Kevin as, as the best man and she's going to be your maid of honor. No, she's not going to be my maid of honor. Absolutely not. I want my daughter to be my maid of honor. Okay, I am sure mom did say that she loved Scott and she was sure about marrying him, but that was when she thought that you were taken. Oh, Dad, I saw her face when she found out that you and Anna weren't together. It means something to her. <laughs> I bet she's out right now canceling the engagement. Answer that, please. This is not over. Hello? Hello, Lulu. It's Scott Baldwin. Hello. Hi. Listen, I'm at the courthouse with your mother. We're about to get married, and she'd like you to be the maid of honor. So throw on a dress and come on down, okay? See you then. Anything else? This sounds crazy. Well, a little bit. When I see a teddy bear, I don't naturally jump to bomb. Oh, we hadn't, we hadn't seen the teddy bear yet. It was still in the package. Yeah, we just heard it ticking. And naturally, you assumed explosive? Turns out it was a clock. Yeah, it was a really cute gift. Yep. I'm sure it was. Why again did you assume it was a bomb? Because Lulu's father thinks someone's out to get us. But, but happily, it was all just a great big misunderstanding. I guess that kind of thing happens in the Spencer clan from time to time. You gotta make sure you send Bobby a thank you note. Yeah. Okay, Mom. So it sounds like to me this fainting spell occurred around a little bit of stress. Well, it wasn't exactly the most relaxing situation. I mean, I, I, I could have just passed out because I was overly relieved or whatever. But I would still like it if she got checked out. She's still dealing with that LSD dose that Heather gave her. He's afraid that my brain is short-circuiting. Well, that's not funny. It's always better to err on the side of safety. So, we'll get some blood work done and take some scans and we'll see what's going on, right? Ah, uh, thank you. See? Come on, we got a lot to do. Ah, uh, no. uh, wait, wait, wait. Not until you tell me who I'm standing up for. Come on. I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to have to use <clears throat> actual words? Come again. Scott Bowen? Is that a joke? No, why? Then you are out of your mind. Oh, come on, don't. I would rather be bitten by one of your vampires than be Scott Baldwin's best anything. Hey, come on, Laura. Where's your sense of adventure? Uh, yeah. You know, I think I just pictured it differently. That's all. Well, I mean, didn't you think that I would want to plan my wedding? Yes, but it's not like we haven't done this before. No, and I don't need a big grand ceremony or a cathedral train, but I do need to be involved in it. Well, you are. You're the most important part. I love you. I love you, too.
Well, there you go. Then what difference does it make if we get married tonight or next month? Well, I suppose it shouldn't make a difference. You're right. But it does. Is that because of Luke? Lulu, if you wind that thing one more time, it's going to be the most uptight bear in Jellystone Park. I just want some water. I just got crazy. My daughter! Who was on the phone? Scott! What did he want? He wanted to share some news. What news? He and Mom are at the courthouse. They're getting married. Well, then, there you have it. It's a done deal. Everything's settled. What are you talking about? That doesn't settle anything. On what planet is it appropriate for me to be Scott Baldwin's best man? Uh, this planet, because he really needs to get married tonight. I can't stand him. Why? Is that a real question? Is it just because I had a relationship with, with him? The, you were married to him. You have a daughter with him. You do remember Serena. Oh, come on. Of course I remember Serena. How did this even happen? Which part? How did you find out he was getting married in the first place? Oh, oh, that's easy. I ran into him, and it was so great because I haven't seen him in such a long time. He looks really good, I think. Oh, and, and then we started talking, and, and oh, oh, and then he just started pouring his heart out to me about his... Whoa, fiance. whoa, whoa. Your ex-husband was pouring out his heart? Because he's a good friend. Whatever happened to the clean break? What is this exes being friends business, anyway? Well, what is this with you being jealous? I promise you there is nothing between Scott and myself. Clearly, he is getting married. I just want to help him have a, a very special wedding. He needs us. Count me out. Doc, I can't do that. He doesn't have anybody to stand up for him. You know why? Because no one likes him. Okay, fine. You can't do it for Scott. Could you please, pretty please, just do it for me? I don't understand why you have to bring up Luke. Really, you don't. I mean, I asked you to marry me and you said no. I didn't say no. You said maybe. I said yes, with a caveat. Yeah, but you had to come back to town here and see if there's anything left between you two. A lot of guys might have a little problem with that. Yeah, but you didn't. So why is it a big problem now? Well, because I thought it was all settled. You knew that Luke was with Anna and... Yeah, Luke's... but that's just that he isn't with Anna. Who told you that? Lulu. But Luke confirmed it. You know, I, I was so worried that Anna was cheating on Luke. But it turns out that they weren't together at, at all. But, you know, if you had just let me go and talk to him about it the way I wanted to, but you kept stopping me and telling me that it wasn't any of my business and... Wait a minute. You didn't know that Luke and Anna had called it quits, right? I mean, you weren't trying to keep that from me, were you? Laura. Scotty, tell me the truth. Is that the reason for the Warp Speed wedding? So your mother is getting married. <laughs> How much more settled do you want it? Just because she's marrying Scott doesn't mean that she wants to. Oh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Your mother doesn't do anything she doesn't want to do. You just said that she was acting weird, rushing out of here when Scott says jump. Well, clearly I don't know her as well as I used to. She ran out of here because she doesn't know how to handle the fact that you're single. Lulu, you... <laughs> You're reading way too much no, into this. No, I'm not. She is not being honest with herself, nor you. So I'm wrong. Hmm. Has happened before. Ticking time bomb, anyone? Okay, you guys sit tight. I'm going to take a look at the blood work and the scan, and I'll get back to you. Great, thank you. And, Ante, congratulations, by the way. I've seen Lulu. I haven't seen you since hearing about the baby. It's awesome news. <laughs> Isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> Okay, let's work. I gotta take yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, go, go, do your thing. Yeah. Okay. Lulu, mm -hmm. 
you and I have got problems with Baldwin, but your mother doesn't. Okay? She's chosen him. And and she should have her choice. That's all. <laughs> A choice implies that there is more than one option. What I'm saying is, Mom didn't know that you were a potential option. I am not an option! <sighs> Your mother has chosen Scott Baldwin to spend her life with. Okay? I don't know why. But it's not up to me or up to you to try to change your mind. Now you go change your clothes or whatever you have to do and get down there because she's going to need you. Oh, you no, you're wrong. Again. Yes, she doesn't need me. She needs you. You should go to the courthouse. Why? So you can stop the wedding. Something really wrong with this whole wedding picture. I'm. I'm starting to smell a vintage Lucy Co. scheme. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. My intentions are 100% altruistic. There's nothing in this for me, except I get to bask in the glow of helping an old friend. Would you help explain to her why I don't want to be her ex-husband's best man? Or even attend that wedding? Sorry, can't do that. Seriously? A wise man recently advised me, Lucy's with you. Stands to reason she's not interested in Scott. Thank you. Mac, Doc, I love you and only you. Oh, let's just get it over with. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm not throwing oh, him fine, a bachelor party. Fine. You don't have to. There's no time for that. Anyway, listen, you're not only Scott's best man, you're mine. Sweetheart, this is really kind of sad. A lot of kids whose parents are divorced have fantasies that they're going to get back together. This is not about that. Oh, I think it is. Mom is lost. She and you have history. She still has feelings for you. Well, of course she has feelings for me, and I have feelings for her. We have kids together. We'll always have some kind of feelings for each other, but they're not the kind of feelings you want them to be. Our lives have taken a different direction, and that's okay. But is it okay to stand back and watch Mom get hurt? Oh, no, you're just playing dirty. No, I'm not. You hate Scott. Well, only because he's a... Reptile. So why would you let mom marry him? I don't let your mother do anything. I'm not her keeper. Okay, you think that Scott sent me the fake ice princess, right? Uh, I <coughs> do. Yeah, yeah, and you all but accused him of a bomb threat. So right. you think he's dangerous, right? I do. Okay, so what if he puts mom at risk? Dante? Dante! Dante, honey, come what? here, come here, what? 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 The bear, the bear is sitting on the counter. It's bear. The bear, just like the one that Bobby gave you, only was sitting here, was ringing like an alarm clock. Why the hell would I see that bear? Yes, I think that uh, Baldwin is up to something. I think rodents are always nibbling around the edges. So isn't that reason enough to stop the wedding? No. You can't let mom marry someone who's dangerous. I am done writing to your mother's rescue. She's a grown woman. <sighs> she is just going to have to save herself or pay the price. You knew Luke was free. And you've been working overtime to keep it from me. Yes. Haven't you? Yes, yes, yes. When did you find out? When I went down to the police station to try and help Lucy out, I ran into Anna, and she told me that they had broken up. That was weeks ago, Scotty. You have been lying to me all this time. Why? Why? Because I was afraid. I, I have waited so long to have a second chance with you. And just when I thought things were going my way, I was afraid it was going to evaporate. I panicked. I lied. Because I love you. Wow. If we've learned anything from our mistakes in the past, isn't it that we need to be honest with each other? No. I was just afraid if you knew Luke was available that I would lose you. I don't want to lose you. Unless... I already have. Laura, do you still want to marry me? You're stressed out, okay? It's been a long day. 
I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, but this, this, the bear, the vision, it was very ominous. Mom, and come on, it's a harmless baby gift, okay? I, I can't, I can't get the sign of the alarm out of my mind. I, 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 I'm sorry, I know that this sounds crazy. I think you should go home. I think you should check on the bear. I'm not gonna go home and check on a stuffed animal, but, Mom. But, 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 look, I humored you. I think that you should... I've got to leave his test results. Is she okay? Laura makes her own decisions about her own life. I understand that, but Scott's manipulated her before. What if he's manipulating her again? It doesn't matter. It's still her choice. <sighs> now, do I wish that she'd chosen somebody else, somebody that could make her really happy? Sure. But she didn't. Okay, I've said my piece. You can decide what you want to do from here. Thank you. Where are you going? I need to change into something appropriate for a maid of honor, even if I think the wedding is a bad idea. I'm sorry that I lied. <sighs> Tell me that you understand why I did it. Tell me you still want to be my wife. Hi. Hey, we're here. Yo, we're here, we're here, we're here. We're With so bells excited. On. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have everything you need to throw a killer wedding, including a killer ensemble. <laughs> so... Tell me, are you two love birds ready to say I do? Okay. <laughs> Let's get married. <laughs> Everything looks fine. Test results came back negative. Brain scans clear. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So why do you think I passed out? Dehydration, low blood sugar. You mentioned you didn't eat much today. Is that common? Well, since Steve's gone i guess i haven't been taking very good care of myself okay good well we'll start by changing that right now let's go get no, some food no i told you you're gonna go and you're gonna check on that bear or better yet just get rid of it dad are you sure that you don't want to come dad <laughs> how are you like that actually went to the courthouse <laughs> this i gotta see best you can do? Laura, you look lovely. Thank you. Oh, you are a vision. And that ensemble I picked is perfect. <laughs> I'm really very good at this, aren't I? <laughs> okay, the blush looks good. Um, I have these for you. Thank so you. we're all ready. Oh, except I need to text Mayor Lomax. I can't do the wedding without the officiant. <laughs> or the maid of honor. Ah, that must be Lulu. Still getting dressed. She wants to be picture perfect for her mother's big day. It still doesn't explain what the hell you're doing here. Hey, you don't need to be so pessimistic there, pal. Maybe he's just trying Lucy. to wish the happy couple uh, Lucy. good wishes. Lucy, Lucy I, I admire your optimism here, but the reason why Spencer is here is to cause trouble, because that's what he does. You know, before I'm forced to exchange insults with this clown, may I just say what a pleasure it is to see you, Miss Carlo. Oh, you may. You may, you may. Hi, Doc. <laughs> and, um, I'm so sorry about your recent troubles. Well, yes, I've had them, but they will pass. The SEC will get out of my hair about all my cosmetic stuff, and then I'm going to throw one heck of a nurse's ball, because I get that backup guy over there, too. <laughs> oh. Did she rope you into witnessing these nuptials? Uh, no, shh. No roping, no. No roping, no, no, no. Persuaded. <sighs> all right, all right, enough of this, Spencer. Do your catching up elsewhere. This is my wedding. You're not invited. You know what? This is a courthouse, in case you didn't notice. This is a public building, which means I, as a member of the public, have a perfect right to be here. You would know that if your law degree wasn't as phony as your bridge work. You know what? I'm going to throw you out of here. Scotty. No, I am. No. He's a fool, and I'm throwing him out. I'm no, dead. no. Not until you tell me what you're doing here. Got another gift out here to Lulu Spencer from Bobby Spencer. 
Seattle, Washington. Lulu, you in there? Lulu! I'll tell you why he's here. Because he wants to convince you that you're making a big mistake here. This dumbbell doesn't realize that you want to make a commitment to me. Hey, uh, pal, you know you're coming off a little bit defensive. That's not the light you want to be seen in by your bride. Oh, for God. God's sake. You can marry whoever you want to marry, but I think we all know that you can do a lot better than this bozo. Oh, that's... Spencer, you're, you're trying to rescue Laura from her own fiancé. Yeah, look, I'm not the guy who thinks sending a replica of the Ice Princess is an amusing party favor. So, wait, I'm, I'm not just the bad guy. All of a sudden, I've got some sort of mastermind, some criminal. No, I don't think you're a master or anything. Spencer, I came back here to see Laura, and you accused me of sending your daughter some reminder of your disco dancing days? You're living in the past, huh? Join us here in the future. Gentlemen, huh? gentlemen. Why don't we just step back and take a breath? This isn't the time, and it definitely isn't the place. Thank you, Kevin. I hate it when you two fight like this. Well, come on, Spencer. Tell everybody while you're here. What's your cockamamie plan to stop this wedding? Is that why you're here? Baby, can you hear me? Baby, can you hear me? All right, yes. I am here to stop this stupid wedding. Yeah, well, I knew it. Okay, you know, I... Hey, Puerto Rico, those little rum drinks with the umbrellas, we loved them. Metricourt has the best recipe. Come on, let's just go, please. That's a good please, idea, please. Spencer. Why don't you find a waterfront bar and sauce up? That's you, what you're good at. You deserve so much more than this pathological loser, Laura. Oh, come on. Do you think anybody's really buying your, your little rant here that I'm, I'm dangerous to Laura? Of course you're dangerous for her, because you're not the right man. All right. I deserve an answer. If Scotty's not the right man for me, who is? I don't know, Laura. I just know it isn't this. Hang on. Oh, it's Lulu. Probably calling to say she's not going to make the wedding because she doesn't want you to marry him either. Hey, Cupcake. Luke. Luke, it's Dante. Lulu's missing. Oh, I'm on my way. What happened? Lulu's missing. What do you mean she's missing? That was Dante. When he got back to the apartment, she was unconscious on the floor. Oh, my God. Before he could call 911, he got clocked. When he came to, she was gone. Well, well, what, does he think that somebody knocked her out, too? He doesn't know. He didn't see any evidence that she was hurt. But he thinks whatever it is, it had to do with that bear. You mean the one that Bobby sent? Well, that's the thing. Bobby didn't send that bear. Dante found another package at the door. That's the one that Barbara Jean sent. So we have no idea who sent the other one? All we know is that whoever sent it not only knew that she has an Aunt Bobby, they also knew what kind of package she had sent. Now, I wonder who could have had that kind of information. Oh, come on, Spencer. Your daughter's missing. We just got time for your stupidity. Scotty's right. Look, we should just get right over to Lulu's house now. Let's go. Laura, Laura, I'll be with you. You stay out of this! If I find out that you had anything to do with my daughter being missing, you are a dead man. Come on. Come on. Are you all right? What have you got? Yeah. Look, Lulu's been missing about, about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, Max. Okay, okay let's start dusting for Chris and Barbara. Right. We need to be sitting down. No, I'm fine, okay? All right, so tell me, what happened? What? You came here and uh, Lulu was unconscious? There's this bear, all right? What do you mean? The bear? We thought it was a gift from Rand Bobby. Uh, God. All right, hold on. Guys, got, uh, Reynolds, I, I need this, this bear dusted and, and, and put in a bag. Got it, Sit down. Sit down. 
I need you to take me through step by step. I don't want to miss any details that could be crucial, okay? So just calm down and tell me what happened. Okay, we, uh, we just had a little gathering this afternoon for, uh, for the baby sonogram picture. All right, and who's here? Uh, me and Lulu. Yeah. And, uh, her parents. And my mom. Okay. And she, uh, she went down to the car yeah. to get something. And she came back and she brought that the package with her and, and, and she said it was just sitting by the door with a, with a address to Lulu. Did anyone see it be delivered on it? No, no one saw anything, no one heard anything, no doorbell, it was just left there. My mom heard it ticking and Luke thought it was a bomb. Oh, come on. No, but it, it wasn't. Well, no. Uh, Lulu got a call from her Aunt Bobby and she said, did you get the gift? And she said, yeah, and she said it was a, a bear with a clock in it. Oh, I see. So this, this bear? No. No. That, that's the gift from Bobby. I didn't open it. It was on the doorstep when I got in, but I'm, I'm guessing it is a, a bear with a clock in it. Okay, I got it. All right, so this, this toy's a plant. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's... I think it's booby trap because when I came in, Lulu was lying on the floor, unconscious, and I was next to her. All right. So did you see anything else? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, I was so distracted by Lulu on the floor, I, I completely missed this guy coming in and clocking me over the head. Well, you were worried about your wife. Come on. It doesn't matter. Come on. I should have been smarter than that. This isn't the first weird gift that she's been given. Uh, okay. Well, you'd spoken to Bobby. If I didn't leave her here with this, with this stupid bear, she would be here right now. I'm sending something over to the lab, and I think it could be a crucial piece of evidence, so I want you to run testing it first. All right? Yeah. I need the results ASAP. Hi, uh, we're in luck. Luck? Oh, well, just, I, I mean, the all-night coffee vendor was still open, and, and so I got you your favorite dog. And Thank you. Hey, pal, I got you your caramel macchiato with two squirts of chocolate. Here you go. Thank you. How you doing? This is not how I saw this day ending. I know. It's not how I pictured it either. I thought this was going to be the spontaneous, romantic wedding, you know, it would go down in the history books. Well, it still can. The bride's ex-husband shows up and accuses the groom of kidnapping the daughter. That sounds like the six o'clock news to me. Look, Luke is just really worried about Lulu, and he's not thinking clearly. No one, absolutely nobody, thinks you had anything to do with Lulu's disappearance. Right, Doc? Nobody, right? Well, I don't know, Lucy. Do we? I need a three-block perimeter around the building. Teams going door to door. All right, we need to turn off a witness. Hey, 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 be careful with that. Oh, don't worry. We won't let it out of our sight. I didn't know any more about who took her. Oh, she was unconscious when I found her. They, they, they wanted to make sure she couldn't fight back. Gosh, neither could you. Oh, just, from that bump on your head. They just, they just wanted me to mobilize as low as they wanted. Oh, my God. Oh, God, please don't let anything happen to our little girl. If you just take the flyer, call if you see anything. No matter how insignificant, it's imperative we find Lulu, okay? Thank you uh, so much. Me. We're looking for this girl. What the hell have you done with my wife? Right, and you will call if you hear anything, right? Anything at all? Yeah, thanks, Aaron. So how much longer before this is up? Uh, well, it shouldn't take too much longer. Yeah. Good. How are you holding up? Where is she? Where is our baby, Luke? Our baby? Wait, 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 I swear wait, to you, hey, hey, I will kill you. Wait, wait, wait please, uh, wait a minute. He doesn't know. Wait, wait. Listen to me. Please listen. This isn't helping. This is making things worse. He doesn't know he was with me at the courthouse. Please listen. There were witnesses, multiple witnesses. Luke and Laura were even there. He doesn't know where Lulu is. If you have questions, he can't answer them for you. Please. She could be anywhere now. She could be across the ocean, Luke. Yeah, just because we can't reach her doesn't mean that she isn't going to try to reach us. Now, look, this, this, this baby of ours turned out to be a very resourceful woman, Laura. If there's any way to get out of the situation she's in, she'll find it. Well, she is your daughter after all. It's funny, I thought she got that from you. Uh, 
We are good to go. Um, all incoming calls are going to be uh, traced automatically. Great. Do you hear that? Hmm. So even if she doesn't try to call us, even if even if whoever has her makes a call, hmm. we're on top of it. Hey, I'll get that. Oh, my God, is it good to see you. How are you doing? I've been better, baby. Well, I came as soon as I could. I took the first flight out of Seattle. Oh, thank you. Has there been any news? No, not yet, but there will be. Oh, yeah. There will be. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby, I'm so glad you're here. Well, your mind. Yeah, pretty much. So what can I do to help? I can make some calls or I can go on a coffee run. Just, you know, put me to work. <laughs> Just sit with me, huh? An excellent sitter. Thanks. I just, I can't believe this is happening. You and me both, sister. Somebody actually gave Lulu a booby track gift. Yeah. As if it were for me? Yeah, yeah. Dante found the one that you sent afterwards. The delivery man left it at the door. But it's the timing. I don't understand. Well, somebody knew that you were sending her a baby gift. They even knew what kind. And then when she went to open the package, we realized that it was ticking, and so Luke thought maybe it was a bomb. Yeah, I wasn't that far off. Yeah, and we should have listened to you. We should have called the police sooner. <sighs> Well, but by then you had already called to see if the president had arrived. Yeah, Lulu asked me to describe it. A bear with a clock. And someone duplicated that gift and used it to get a hold of her. So somebody's been watching me, too. Somebody like maybe your friend Scott. Uh, yeah, so what? If you were at the courthouse, you could have hired someone to take her. Okay, listen, listen. He wasn't just at the courthouse. He was there to get married to Laura. Lulu's mother, so why would I hurt her daughter? Wedding. Uh, yeah, and it never happened because Lulu disappeared. Well, it sounds like a perfect alibi to me. No, no, no. L listen, I know you're so upset and so worried, but you gotta see this isn't doing any good questioning him. You're wasting time. You could be looking for your wife. She's right. Whoever took Lulu is still out there. If you had any part in this, if you hurt my wife in any way, you have my word. I will leave my badge in a drawer. And I will end your life. Okay. It's good. He's coming around. And you do this by yourself? Laura? Yeah. I mean, she's got to be really upset. I should be with her. Yeah, you should. Okay. Listen to me. Luke's gonna be there, and he's just as wound up as Dante, so please, please, please be careful, because he's looking for somebody to blame, too. Well, I'm not gonna hide from that lunatic. <sighs> okay, could you do me a favor, though? Maybe don't lose your temper. Be the better guy. Keep it all in check, because the point is, is you gotta support Laura. Okay, okay, I won't start anything, but if he does, I will finish it. Fine, I guess that's as good as I'm gonna get. Okay, go. Get out of here, get out of here. Okay, call me. If there's anything I can do, if you hear anything, just call me, okay? Have I told you how terrific you are? Not today. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, my goodness, what a beautiful baby. Um, listen, I, I was just wondering if you could help us. We are looking for this young woman. Her, her name is Lulu, and, and she's a mother-to-be in trouble. The timing is awfully convenient, Bobby. Scott Baldwin hits town, and ten minutes later, my family is under siege. You are not suggesting that Scott is somehow involved in Lulu's disappearance, are you? Lou, come on, that's absurd. And that's exactly what I told him, but you know your brother. He hey. Something stuck in his head. And I'm right here. Hey, why would Scott want to kidnap Lulu? He lives on another continent, for God's sake. He has nothing to do with anything anymore. Oh, I see you haven't heard the good news. <sighs> Scotty and I are engaged. Oh! <gasps> In fact, they almost tied the knot last night, which puts Scott right in the thick of it. Just say, Barbara Jean. Oh. Uh, he says he's a uh, family. <clears throat> I 
think of anything, see anything, anything even small, because she was taken from in this area, it would be so helpful. Please call. Oh, I will. And good luck. I hope you find her. <sighs> Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Um, excuse me. Hi, miss. Can I help you? It's good to see you. Hey, you too. Oh, I wish you was under different circumstances. Yeah. How'd it go in the park? Well, we were handing out flyers to anybody we could grab. Thank you. Yeah. Both of you. I didn't know you were in town. I just flew in. Can you two get reacquainted another time? We're busy here. I'm here to help. This is a family matter. We don't need your kind of help. Luke, stop. Well, I don't care what you want, you know what? But you had a point there. Speaking of family, since Laura's gonna be mine... Get out! Stop it! Please, can't we stop this? You're gonna have to throw me out. No! There's an invitation. Hey, no, no, stop it! Please, knock it off. This isn't going to help us find our daughter. So we're just canvassing the entire area. You know, we're so desperate to find this woman. So pretty. Oh, yes. She's actually beautiful. This picture doesn't do her justice. What happened to this unfortunate creature? Uh, um, sh she was kidnapped. Who would do such a terrible thing? Or the poor young woman against her will? The missing woman was a mother? Um, yes, a actually a, a mother to be. Um, but I, I just can't believe someone would take such a sweet y young woman out of her own home. You know, that person has to be totally insane. Not necessarily. Some are driven by motives beyond the average person's comprehension. What does that mean? It means you don't have to be insane to do evil things. You might simply be evil. You both know I'm right. All of this fighting isn't going to get us anywhere. Why don't we go for a walk? We can do some more canvassing. Okay. I'm fine. Look. I know Laura's your fiancé, but Lulu is their daughter. So let them handle this. Hmm? Listen, I'm just a phone call away. I love you. I love you, too. Thanks for checking on me. Okay. Well, Luke, would you rather fight with Scotty or would you rather find our daughter? Actually, I happen to be very acquainted with evil, and it, it's not very nice. That, that's why it's so important that we find Lulu and find the person who, who took her. Um, so please, if, if you think of anything, no matter how small, um, I'd appreciate if you keep the flyer and, and just call me. If, if there's anything at all, we really want to find her. All right, then. Um, I hope you have a, a really good day. Ta. Sorry, I missed your call. Leave a message and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> I wish... I wish you could tell me where you are. I love you so much. You know that I'm coming to get you. Scotty did not take our daughter, Luke. He couldn't have. Really? You're sure of that? Yes! I am positive. This vendetta you have is upsetting me, Luke. And it's distracting you, and we can't have that. What do you want me to do? I want you to focus. Remember, remember what happened at the very beginning when somebody sent that replica of the Ice Princess to Lulu. Who's the first person who popped into your head? Helena. Right, the Cassidines. I think if we find the Cassidines, we'll find our daughter. There's uh, someone here to see you. Well, let him in. Nicholas. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's Anna. Hi. A situation developing that might involve the Cassidines. Now I need you to pull the WSB dossier on them and anything you can get on the whereabouts of Helena. Strictly speaking, I don't really have access to that kind of stuff anymore, but you do. I need you to call me. It's urgent. 
Uh-huh. A life may depend on it. Uh, yeah, Lulu, uh, Leslie, Lou, uh, Spencer Falconeri, blonde hair, uh, hazel eyes. Um, I'm going to send you over the APB. I, I need to get, uh, get in touch with uh, Homeland Security and Interpol. Uh, uh, you, you can do that for me. Thank you. Thank you. Anything? No. Did you get any sleep? No. Me neither. Every time I close my eyes, all I can see is a pretty little face. Hey, uh, what, what else? What else do you see? What do you mean? I need your help. Huh? This vendetta you have is upsetting me. And it's distracting you, and we can't have that. What do you want me to do? Focus. Let's go back to where all this started when somebody sent that replica of the Ice Princess to Lulu. Who did your mind first jump to? Elena. Yeah, the Cassidines are probably behind this. If we track down the Cassidines, we will track down our daughter. Uh, there's someone here to see you. Well, let him in. Nicholas. Mother? I am so glad you're here. Well, I have to admit, I'm surprised to see you here. He doesn't know. Know what? I, what? I, I left you about a half dozen messages. Well, I've, I've been in transit, out of touch. I came here straight from the airport. You what? mean you didn't get any of my texts? No, I honestly came here to see Lulu, and I saw the police outside. Where is she? She's gone, Nick. What She's you... been kidnapped. I'm too late. I'm too late. Too late for what? Too late for what? Too late to stop this from happening, from saving Lulu. It's Helena, right? Look, She's had her kidnapped? I'm sorry. If I'd gotten here sooner, I could have prevented it. <gasps> Nicholas? Nicholas! Stay down! Nicholas! Get down! My son's been shot! My son's been shot! Help us! Call the police! Help us! From across the street! Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't see a shooter! Stay with me, Stay with me. This is Halloran. Shots fired at 682 Paulson Apartment 4B. Oh. I, need a, I need a bus. The, the, the Vic has a bullet to the torso. No, no, no. I see movement. Somebody's on the run over there. Nicholas, I'm the ambulance is on its way. Possible shooter, male, medium build. Gray hoodie, blue jeans. I'm gonna need a cordon around third and Van Ness. You gotta set a SWAT car to block the alley up at Baker, okay? Look at me, honey. Stay with me. You're gonna be okay. The ambulance is coming. I'm here. Laura? Commissioner, um, they were safely evacuated. I just stayed to lock down the site. Right. Okay, good. Right, good work. Get the guys in. The site is clear. You guys can come on in. So take me through everything you know? Okay. Uh, uh, Hicks and I were in the hall, yeah. and we heard Miss Spencer uh, call for help, mm -hmm. and she said someone was shooting. Um, so I sent Hicks down to 10th Street, and uh, I entered the premises, and um, Mr. Spencer spotted the shooter as he ran from the building across the street. All right, so we've got teams in the area. We should have them converge on that building, find out if anyone saw anything. And then I'll get the detective over to the hospital. Is that where Luke and Laura is? Yeah. yeah. No. All right, and I'll make a statement when they can. Yeah. I thought you said they were okay. Oh, yeah, they're fine. <clears throat> Their visitor caught the bullet. He, uh, he's bleeding pretty bad. Oh, what visitor are you talking about? Uh, the woman said his name was uh, Nicholas. I have a GSW to the chest with massive blood loss. BP 74 over 42, pulse 142, respirations 34 shallow and diminished on the right side. Okay, let's move them. On three, and one, two, three. Start a second line, get a tepping clock for four units, JIC panel and BMP. Start them on a rebreather at 10 liters. You're gonna be okay, the doctors are gonna come. Hey, Nicholas, where's Lulu? Do you know who took her? Did Helena take my daughter, Nicholas? Nurse, get them out of here. You heard the doctor, you have to leave the room. Who? Laura? Elizabeth. Nurse, where would we need line and naps? Nicholas. 
Is Lulu close to Nicholas Cassidy? No, I, I don't know. The guy, he lives in Europe. Look, can I, I gotta go and get her on No. You need to talk to me about this. I need to find out about Nicholas. Do you think his shooting has something to do with your wife's disappearance? How would I know? I don't know. I don't know. Like I just said, he lives in Europe. He lives in Italy, some, like Lake Como or something so like that. So what brought him back? And what is his relationship to Lulu and the Spencers? Please, I cannot. I can't. I just, I can't do this right now. This, this every detail can turn into a lead. You know that. Come on, talk. Come on. Nicholas is Laura's child with Stavros Cassidy. Okay, Luke. Luke never really took to him, but but the, the siblings got along fine. Probably probably a little too well. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Okay. Nicholas and Elizabeth had an affair, and everyone thought that Elizabeth's youngest son, Aiden, was his child. Is that why Lucky left her? No, I don't know why Lucky left. The DNA test proved that Lucky was the parent. So I I, I don't know. Maybe maybe Nicholas left to give them some space. I don't know. So how did Lulu feel about that? She was upset. She, okay. she was upset. Okay, they were close. I mean, not they didn't hang out. I mean, Nicholas is older, and, and he's a Cassidyne, and Spencer's and Cassidines don't exactly hang out. But he was devoted to her. He saved her life. What happened? She had an illness as a child, and she needed a bone marrow transplant, and they couldn't find a match. Until Nicholas. Okay, got it. Right. right. Okay, so no one knew that he existed except for Laura. He was living with the Cassidines in Greece with his uncle who died or something. Yeah, Stefan. Okay. okay. So, he saved Lulu's life, and his existence nearly tore the Spencers apart, okay? Good? Can no, I go I'm now, not good. Come I want to walk through this. All right, because look, if the Cassidines are responsible for Lulu's disappearance, and it's looking more and more likely, then is Nicholas involved in that? What happens? He came to see Lulu at her apartment. We were just talking to him, and then out of nowhere, somebody shot him through the window. He knows something about where Lulu is. I need to talk to him. BP is dropping. Nurse Weber, where are we on those labs? Nobody's even outside. I can't leave my son. Listen, no. I have to speak to him because he knows where Lulu is. Okay, the doctor says you've got to be out. I am his mother. I will keep out of the way, I promise, but I'm staying. If the doctor says you clear this room, then you're out. Understood. Hey, listen, I have got to talk to him because he knows where my daughter is. Look, if you get this boy's mama thrown out of this room, she will never forgive you. I know I wouldn't. So you just stay out of the way and let us save his life. No, Nicholas is not involved. He would do anything for Lou. Yeah, but you just said that he's been staying in Europe over the past few years, which means that he's closer to the Cassidines than he is the Spencers. So they could have influenced him some way. They could have turned him. Who do you think has been paying for Laura's uh, Paris apartment and all her expensive medical treatments? I don't know. Nicholas has. Okay, so that just means he's fabulously wealthy. I mean, it doesn't necessarily follow that he's pure of heart. The entire family is wealthy, but they're all blatantly evil. Is that Alexis has managed to keep her distance? Nicholas wouldn't hurt. Lulu, but uh, he would protect her. The family's notorious for turning on their own. I don't think Helena would have any qualms about silencing him. I'm telling you, Lulu told me that Nicholas is the only one Helena ever cared about. Not judging by the bullet in his gut. Well, then he better live through this because we need to know what he knows. Well, we need to find the shooter. If it's one of Helena's people. Commissioner? Yes. Suspect spotted in the park. Lucky guy. Pick up. Pick up. Luke. Did you warn Lucky? I haven't been able to reach him, but I've left a message. I'll keep trying. How's okay. Nick? They're working on him now. Did he say anything about Luke? No, he's barely conscious. Luke, when I find out who did this to my children, I swear to you that I will kill them with my bare hands. Please! Please, please! please. Drop your weapon. Drop Get your down. weapon. I take it away. Put your hands behind your head. Turn around. Nice and slow. Or that vengeance you seek, count me in. He's got to live, Luke. My son has to live. Nicholas has got something that he needs to tell us about, Lulu. He'll hold on. Believe me, he will hold on. Can we get him upstairs? Not until he stabilizes. BP is still dropping. Give him another unit. Okay, Nicholas. No, Nicholas. It's Elizabeth. Listen to me. You have to fight, okay? I, I, so many people need you. He's coming. Nicholas. Nicholas. Nicholas, don't do this. Please, Frank. please. Drop your weapon. Drop Stay your down. weapon. Now kick it away. Put your hands behind your head. Turn around. Nice and slow.
Sean? You shot Nicholas Cass tonight? He's coming! Nicholas! Nicholas! Nicholas, don't do this! Cubicle one, code blue. Nicholas! Nicholas, don't do this! Nicholas, listen to me! You're right. He saved Lulu's life before, and he's gonna save it again. You're right. Get that bastard in here! Oh my god, what's happening? Maybe this isn't the best idea. What do you mean, coming back here? You really want to go another round with Luke? I don't care about your brother. I want to see Laura. What's going on here? Where's Laura Spencer? They all went to the hospital. Someone got shot. That's the crash cart. His heart must have stopped. No, no. You don't know that for sure. I can hear the alarms. There! Happy and low, 300 milligrams, happy odorone. Nicholas, Nicholas, please. Don't die on me. I can't lose you. Why aren't they doing something? The alarms are still going off. My son could be dying. He'll be okay. Was it Luke Spencer? He wasn't hit. He just rode in the ambulance. Oh, wait, wait a second. It wasn't Laura, was it? No, it was her son. Got to get in there. No, no. You let the doctors do their work. I'm his mother. I need to be with him. He'll home. be okay. He's gonna hang on for Lulu. He will. Oh, Scotty. Look, I didn't shoot Nicholas. I didn't shoot anyone. Well, what the hell are you doing out here? Why are you carrying? Sonny was worried about his daughter-in-law and asked me to keep an eye on the loft. I heard the gunshot less than a minute later. I saw a guy run out of the building across the street. I took off after him. Oh, yeah? So you can ID the shooter? Yeah. Look, darkish brown hair, about six feet medium build. Call Dante. You know me. I didn't shoot anyone. I'm just trying to help. So where'd he go, this guy? Yeah? Look, last, I saw, yeah last I saw you, he was headed into the wooded area that runs across the eastern boundary of the park. Get up! Oh! He's back. Palm for an OR. It'll be at least another 30 minutes. They're all busy. Tell me he's critical. Let's get him on a ventilator. Scotty? Laura, I'm at Dante's. What happened? Nicholas has been shot. I didn't even know he was in town. He came to Dante's looking for Lulu. He was trying to tell us something, and somebody just shot him through the window. Is he all right? It's bad. We're in ER. They're working on him now. All right, listen, I'm on my way to the hospital. No. Uh, if Luke is here, it's just, it's not a good idea. Laura, your son was shot. I want to be with you. I need you to stay there. Lulu's kidnappers my call. There might be some sort of an update. I, I just need you to stay there, please. If that's what you need, that's what I'll do, Laura. Thank you. I love you. The doctor's here. I gotta go. I'm his boy's mother. Is he gonna be all right? Go after him! Careful! You okay, Commissioner? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. You're hit! What? Oh, you're hit. Here, here, here. Hold it. Hold it. Stop the beating. It's yeah. not that bad. Yeah. Nicholas is in bad shape. Laura seems calm, but I could tell by her voice that she's terrified. Well, I don't blame her. I... Scott, this is awful. I got to know Nicholas in the last couple of years. You know, he's a good guy. He would come over and visit Laura like clockwork every month, sure that she was okay. He always brought that kid along. <laughs> Named him Spencer, go figure. <laughs> well, I happen to think Spencer is a fine name. Yeah, well, you might be a little biased. <laughs> Can we go back in? You're all clear. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, Scott, when Nicholas named his son after our family, it was a, it was a lovely, thoughtful gesture. Yeah, it's too bad it was wasted on the deadbeat brother of yours. You and I were getting along so well. Well, it's just that I should be at the hospital right now, supporting Laura, but, you know, she doesn't want to upset old brother Luke. Is that what Laura told you? So many words. She doesn't like it when we fight. Well, she's not alone in that. Well, I know. She's got enough to worry about right now with Nicholas being shot and Lulu missing, and she doesn't need to play referee to us. Well, I think that was very considerate of you. No, oh, I was sap. No, you're not. Oh, come on. Look how it's working out for Luke again. You know, he's at the hospital. He's there with Laura. You know, he doesn't even like Nicholas. And look at me. I'm stuck here like some errand boy. I'm sorry, Scott. 
Well, you should be, Bobby, because you know what? It's your fault. Calling your fiance? No, I'm calling my mom. She's staying with Spencer. Oh, God, I don't even know what time it is in Italy. Italy? Yeah, Nicholas has a house on Lake Como. It's beautiful. My mom loves it. I can't tear her away. Mom? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Listen, uh, is Spencer with you? Can you see him? Good. And, and, and the servants, are they all there? Yeah. Okay, great. No, Nicholas is here with us. He's been shot. Yeah, we're in the AR and, uh, they're going to be taking him in for surgery right now. I'll call you as soon as I get an update from the doctor. Uh, listen, Mom. Don't let Spencer know that his dad has been hurt, okay? Yeah. There's a chance that we think that uh, Helena could be behind all of this. So for now, if you could just keep Spencer very, very close to the house and make sure that all the servants know what happened. Thanks, Mom. Give him a kiss from me and tell him how much I love him. I love you too, Mama. Bye. They're freeing up an OR now. They'll be taking your son up to surgery in about 15 minutes. Can I see him? Please. Go ahead. I just thought I'd update you on what's going on with Nicholas. They're about to take him up into surgery. He knows something about what happened to Lulu. So I'm going to try to get in and question him. Sorry, do you know where they took Sean? <sighs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to stop the bleeding, yeah? I hope this isn't dry clean only. <laughs> sorry, I'll send you the bill. God, I wonder where the ambulance is. Look, I'm fine, okay? I'm I'm fine. You're pretty good at this hero thing, aren't you? <laughs> yes, maybe we're too far in the park for them to find us. I'm gonna go and check to see who they are, all right? You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Just, just be careful. What happened to Sean? Apparently, he was shot. There's a lot of that going around tonight. <laughs> Well, I, I'm sorry, I don't know anything okay, about I'll it. I'll ask at the desk. Uh, Natasha. Yeah. Sean wasn't the only one who was shot tonight. Nicholas, I spoke to Grandma Leslie, and she and Spencer are just fine. They just need to know that you're going to be all right, that they are perfectly safe. Nicholas, I know you came here to help Lulu, and I want you to know that... You are a wonderful brother, and you're a wonderful son. I love you, Nicholas. I don't think I've told you that often enough. But you're my firstborn, my beautiful, handsome boy. I didn't get enough time with you. Please don't leave me, Nicholas. Please. of your dithering. When shall we do this? Do you have any ideas to offer at all or do you expect me to do more than I have already? What have you done exactly? Besides criticize? If I could have made Patrick fall in love with you, I would have. But that was your task and you quite clearly failed. So, I'm waiting for your contribution. Sabrina's involved in a certain cause. It was her way of getting close to Patrick, which is pathetic if you ask me, but seemed to have worked. Does this story have a point? It's a benefit for the hospital, the nurse's ball. It's to, to help get research for the AIDS. Oh, Dr. Westport? Oh, doctor, I need your help. 
Commissioner, if it's an emergency, you should call the ambulance. No, 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 no. we can't wait for that. We, I, I need a doctor now. Man's been shot. He's bleeding. Okay, well, I, I, I'll do my best, but I'm not very fast on my feet. Look, you know what? If I could get any other doctor other than you after the way that you treated my granddaughter, I would. But I don't have a choice. So, okay, fine. Let's do this. <laughs> The weapon. Now. Well, I'm sorry. How is any of this my fault? Well, if you hadn't brought that criminal brother of yours to town to monkey with my car to mess things up with Laura and me, there would have been no Luke and Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to try to blame me for that at this late date? Well, yeah. You should have just hired some local goon. Get the job done that way. Pay him and that's it. Well, what can I say? I was in love with you. And it drove me to do some pretty crazy things. Well, my am irresistible. Yes. Between your looks, your charm, and your innate modesty, I couldn't help myself. Well, then I forgive you. And? And I did some pretty lousy things myself, you know, that I'm not proud of. But I, I did them for the same reason as you for love. That's right. I love Laura. She loves me. But the trouble is, your brother keeps getting in the way, and I keep getting left behind. Turns out, you and I have a lot more in common than I ever realized. Anyway, what are you complaining about? You're with Laura now, and you're going to spend the rest of your life with her. Shouldn't they be prepping him for surgery if he's got a bullet They're in his chest? They're getting the OR ready for him now. I'm so sorry, Alexis. All right, uh, I, I'm going to call the staff and uh, deal with Spencer because I certainly hope he's not sitting in a hotel no, suite. Spencer is in that. Italy with Leslie. Laura already called and told Leslie what's going on. Oh, good. Okay, well, uh, I, I should call to uh, the staff, I mean. If you want to check on your nephew first, I'll keep an eye out for Sean. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. He's he's in there. Laura's with him. Thanks. Sure. Oh, Nicholas. Now, Luke said that that Nicholas knows something about Lulu's disappearance. Yeah, but before he could tell us anything, someone shot him through the window. Are you sure he was the target? Lou didn't think so at the time, but there was only one shot. I'm afraid that somebody wanted to prevent him from telling us what he knew. Someone lethal. He was just trying to help his sister. He'd do anything for her. Hey, hey. hey Nicholas. It's me, it's Alexis, huh? I'm here, honey. Sit down. Sit down. The shooter? Yeah. How'd you find him? I figured he'd double back since Sean can ID him. Oh, good. Yeah, now this SOB is going to tell me where my wife is. Yeah. You look after him, okay? Save right. our lives. I don't say you have my back. What are you working for? Was Nicholas Cassidy your target? Why don't you tell me who you're working for? Why don't you tell me where my wife is? Lulu Spencer Falconary, you tell me where she is. Hey, don't take that. No, wait. No, 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 this happens here and right now. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know, or I'm gonna beat it out of you. Detective! Hey, 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 stop. Are you okay? How bad is it? It's better now. <laughs> no, honey, I'm sorry. How's he doing? Any sign he's coming around? Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Yes. No, he's not. You get up. You get up. You get up and open up your eyes. Open up your eyes. Oh, Tell me what I want to know. Open up your eyes. Walk. Bill. God, he'd rather kill himself than tell us what he knows. Sora, our one lead is dead. Is that what you're telling me? 
I'm going to find my wife. I'm going to find my wife. Okay, he's ready. I'll go with him as far as the OR. Nicholas, I need you to live through this, honey. I need you to come back to me and to little Spencer and all the people who love you. Please, honey, come back. you try to get some rest oh, thank you i don't think i could sleep even if i wanted to you know i want to be here in case the doctor comes by with some news about nicholas or for that matter if the police stop by with some lead about my daughter hey. sorry to interrupt you're not <clears throat> where's everyone I told him to get out of here for a little bit. I need some time by myself. I can answer a phone if someone needs to get a hold of me. Well, we ran the prints of that sniper who killed himself last night and cross-checked him with the WSB. We got a hit. I'll keep an eye on Nicholas if you want to check in with the police. Uh, no, I want to be here when he wakes up. Right now, the doctors aren't letting anyone in there. Not even me. Where's Luke? Sorry I'd have to do this, Nick. But you have to tell me what you know about Lulu. You're my best chance of finding her. I believe you'd be willing to take the risk. So the shooter has ties to Helena Castine, but um, he hasn't been on her payroll since... So what? She rehired him. Who else would give her to this fake ice princess thing? I know, she's our prime suspect. Great, let's go get her. No, nobody knows where she's been. There's no tracking for her for the last few months. Oh, that's, that's great. Okay, we, yeah, you know, we just... You need to focus, Dante. You need to focus. We're gonna re-examine everything that happened. We're gonna go right back to the beginning. I'll get an officer in here to man the phones. You have a shower. Get cleaned up. Meet me over at the Haunted Star, okay? Maybe Luke went down to the station, you know, checking in with Anna and Dante. Yeah, maybe he stopped by Lulu's. I doubt it. Not with Scotty there. He's probably working his sources, you know, trying to get some information. What about you? How are you holding up? I'm waiting for word on all three of my children. Has something happened to Lucky? No, we just tried to call him and we haven't heard anything back yet. Well, that's not unusual, is it? Mm, no, not really. You're right. I mean, he has been living on the road for a few years now, so... I guess even if he got my messages, he might not be able to call me right back. So don't assume it's anything bad. I mean, Lucky can take care of himself. He has a lot of experience. Thank you for reminding me of that. And thank you for my coffee, and most of all, thank you for being here. I don't know what I'd do without you. Hey, we're family, and we always will be. And you know, Laura, there's someone else who would like to be here for you. Scotty. Doctors say you're going to be out for a while. Unfortunately, a while isn't going to cut it for Lulu. He really wants to support you. He has done nothing but support me for the past few years. He's been such a good friend. What's that? Come on, wake up, Nick. You're our best hope to find Lulu. Wake up. What are you doing? Did you give him he's, adrenaline? He's got information Lulu. about where Lulu is. He's the only person who knows. I have to wake him up, you understand? Go to hell! So, why did you want to meet here? Um, I got a message from the Harbor Master, and I, I just needed to check his information. I'm not sure how to tell you this, but 
the haunted star is gone. Thank God the adrenaline was still in the IV, so not much of it actually made it into Nicholas's bloodstream. How could you? The sniper offed himself. Nicholas is the only lead we have. So you thought it was okay to risk my son's life so that you could just pump him for information about our daughter? I think he would be willing to take the risk, but the truth is that doesn't matter. I would have done it anyway. Right. Because to you, he's expendable, right? My bastard son was Stavros. That's right? not the point! Then what is? You think he wouldn't take the risk for Lulu? He didn't have a choice, did he? Because you made the choice for him. He may not be your son, but he is my child. And every bit as much as Lulu or Lucky is, and I will not do it. You trade the life of one of my children for the other. Do you get it? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Let's get out. You get out of here. Get out, Luke. Get out. What about me? Scotty. Okay. Oh, God. Thanks for the information. All right. We got a better chance of seeing the hottest star from here. We're too late. What are you talking about? A man called Quint, he just called the station. He runs a charter boat service and he said he saw the haunted star leave the harbor last night. When? What time? I don't know. To me, it sounds like it was right after Nicholas was shot. That, that means they're in international waters by now. Yeah, I'm sure that was their intention. Who are you calling? People that are going to find the boat. to wake Nicholas by injecting his IV bag with adrenaline. He claims that he's desperate to find Lulu. I am too, but I'm not going to let him kill my son in the process. Well, Spencer's no good. I don't even want to hear his name, okay? I need to stay positive for Nicholas, for Lulu. It, it, is there some news? Did, is that why you're here? No, no, I'm sorry. Nobody called, but there are professionals there to handle the calls if they do. Okay. I know you um, told me to stay away, and I did, but this morning, Laura, I really wanted to see you. If you want me to go, I will. I don't want you to go. I don't know what to do. Helena's trail has gone cold. I just need to find Lulu. But Lulu wouldn't want you hurting Nicholas for her sake. Well, we don't know that that would have hurt him. We didn't get a chance to find out. I just want to find my daughter. Okay, well, try something else. Like what? Well, I don't know, Luke. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You always do. Come on, stay on. You think we know where Lulu is? It's my daughter. Someone broke into the haunted star last night, and they sailed it out of port. We think Lulu's on board. The WSB surveillance chatter corroborates that. Where's the ship? I spoke to Frisco. He had the WSB use their satellite imagery to locate the ship. It's in the Atlantic. Where exactly? I need compass points. Don't even try to keep me out of this. Well, it's in international waters, so obviously it's out of my jurisdiction. What are you saying, Slim? What I'm saying is that this is your show now, Luke. All right? The WSB is going to provide you with transportation and give you temporary credentials. Well, great. I'll wave those in front of Helena and say, uh, why did you take my daughter? You have no idea how the proper documentation can help you, both of you. Understood. Thanks. Yeah. So, as soon as we have the coordinates pinned down, then you'll get transportation out to the Haunted Star. We see Luke. Go find our girl. Let's do it. Thank you. I'm going. Not a word out of you. Scotty is here with me, and he is staying with me. Well, ain't that sweet? Have a good time. I'm off to find my daughter. As soon as the Bureau sends the coordinates for the Haunted Star, you're going to be on your way to find Lulu. Thank you. Hannah, honestly, you don't know how much this means to me. Yeah. We look after our own, right? Speaking of which, uh, maybe keep an eye on my mother. Maybe she sees something that helps us. I don't know. You good to go? Absolutely. Good on your end? Yeah. Thank you for stepping up, Slim. I appreciate it. I've always got your back. Okay? No matter what. 
Well, I'm going to make another coffee run, so... Honey, try not to worry. You know my brother. He's going to bring Lulu back. Safe and sound. Yeah, let Luke and Dante handle this. It's best that you're with Nicholas. Scotty? Yeah? There's one more thing I need you to do for me. Frisco just sent the coordinates from the Haunted Star. The pilots should already have them. Oh, okay. Good. I'll see you there. Well, that's your cue. You ready to roll? I'm ready. He's on his way to pick up the extra equipment, and he's going to meet you at the rendezvous point. Right. All right? Right. Now, look, if anything gets out of hand, or you need reinforcements for any reason, there's a team of WSB agents waiting for you, okay? Great. Let's get this party started. Wait! I'm coming with you. that she's doing this to me again. Hey, you need to calm down and step back. No, I need to go after her. Hey, 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 look, Scott, I know you're frustrated, but this is something that Laura needs to do with Luke because Lulu is their daughter. Yeah, but I'm going to be her husband. I'm not her friend, I'm not a pal. I'm her husband. So why is she running off with Luke again? Leaving me here like I'm some stooge. She's trusting you with her son because she loves you and because she needs to know that he is safe with someone. So, can you do that for her? No. Not a good idea. You need to let me handle this. No, I need to be there. This is my score to settle. This is just as much my fight as it is yours. Helena put a curse on both of us and our families, and it's high time that we broke it, Lou, once and for all. So... You coming? Here we go again. Hey, good luck. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. As soon as we got Lulu back, we got onto this boat. We may as well have rung the front doorbell. Everybody who's here will know that we are too. So be ready, but only use that as a last resort. Once you fire that, you're a target. Yeah, got it. You ready to face the dragon lady? Luke, I've never been more ready. A welcome party. Oh, there you are. Just playing games, keeping us on our toes. But you enjoy games, don't you? Well, <laughs> here we are again. Seems like old times. Oh, please make yourselves at home. This, this is your vessel, after all. Even if I am the one who gave it to you. Yeah, thanks. We're not staying. Oh, how tedious. God forbid we should skip a step. Now, I welcome you, you menace me, and then my guards make themselves known. Oh. And over your weapons. Oh, it would be a shame to mar this upholstery with your blood. Well, I think I can still get off a pretty lethal shot. How loyal do you think your boy toys are going to be when there's a bullet in your black heart? 
Either hand over your gun, Luke, or our game ends now. And Laura is the first to get shot. Oh, let me go! Let me go! Make up your mind, Luke. Your gun or her life. I certainly know which one I would choose. Oh. How disappointing. Now, where was I? Give me back my daughter, you bitch! Oh, how rude. But how typical. All those years, and I still have no idea what my sons ever saw in you. May they rest in peace. How we get off on the subject of your evil spawn? Your mind is wandering, darling. It happens at a certain age. Don't test the limits of my affection for you. I'm in no mood for insults. I wouldn't hesitate to. To what? What are you going to do, Helena? Are you going to shoot us? Just like you had Nicholas shot? Nicholas has been shot? Well, she's really got that surprise thing down, doesn't she? You knew that Nicholas was going to warn us that you were after Lulu. So you had to find a way to shut him up, didn't you? And thanks to you, he's now lying in a hospital bed clinging to life. Why would I hurt my own grandson? My own flesh and blood. Oh, please. You'd eat your children for breakfast with an Uzo chaser. I saw you murder your own daughter in front of me. Oh, that deviant. I abhorred her. Nicholas, I love him. I have no reason to hurt my grandson. Well, if you didn't have him shot, who did? Tell us. If you're not the one who had Nicholas shot, then who is? I'm the one who asked the questions. Now, what proof do you have that my grandson was shot? You think we're lying to you? It's all over the news. What's the matter? You don't have satellite out here? <gasps> Luke! I assume that you have cell phones. Yeah, you have trouble with your international carrier? You want to borrow mine? I want to speak to Nicholas now. And I guarantee you the consequences will be Severe. I can call Scotty. He promised me that he would stay at Nicholas's bedside. Keep it on speaker. No tricks. Okay. I just spoke to Leslie and your bodyguard slash babysitter and Spencer is okay. All right. He thinks that you're out of town, but he's fine. I'm sorry. Hello? Laura? Alexis, is that you? I'm sorry, I was trying to reach Scotty. Uh, yeah, um... Oh, it's... This is Scott's phone. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick it up. It's just here. He went for a walk. Oh. Hey, is everything all right? Aren't you and Luke supposed to be chasing after Helena? Yes, yes, we are. I was just calling to check in on Nicholas. How's he doing? Um... He, he's okay. He had a little bit of a setback. What kind of a setback? Um, look, Elizabeth said that he's on the road to recovery, so don't worry. Has he regained consciousness yet? Not yet, but the doctors really aren't concerned. So uh, you shouldn't be either because I'm going to stay here and, and until he's out of the woods. See that you do, Natasha. Lena. The one and only. Luke and Laura captured you? On the contrary. It is I who did the capturing. What have you done with them? That is none of your concern. You only have to be worried about my grandson. Tell me, how is he? Do you think there's any chance that she's maybe telling the truth? Maybe she's not the one who had Nicholas shot? She lies like she breathes, but I don't think she had any idea. What does that mean? Nothing good. How does he look? Pale. But as handsome as ever. Is he in pain? No, because he's unconscious at the moment. But he's in stable condition, and the doctors say the prognosis is good. I am entrusting you with the care and well-being of Nicholas. Fail me, Natasha. And I will slit your throat just like I did 
that cow who dropped you. All right, Helena. You've got your proof. Now give me back my daughter. Let me be clear. You don't get to see anyone, not after what you did to Nicholas. What I did? It's your fault he was shot. It all comes back to you. Oh, this has nothing to do with Laura. One of your boys got a little trigger happy and plugged your grandson when he wasn't supposed to. We can't help it if you hire substandard peons. I assure you that my peons are quite efficient. Laura has been a source of unending pain for anyone who unfortunately would wander into her orbit, and that includes you, Luke. No, I'm doing everyone a favor. I will finally put an end to everyone's misery by finally putting an end to Laura. made your peace with God. Done. Until I know my wife is safe. It might be simpler if they just shot you. You think they can drop me before I pull the trigger? You willing to bet your life on that? Are you? Don't do it, Dante. It's too dangerous. Just drop it. think you're so clever, sneaking on board, shooting the weapon out of my hand? To what end? You are really losing it, Helena. You're just slipping away. Soon you'll be out of the game completely. All he's done is just postpone the inevitable. But Laura's still going to die, but now he is too. Kill Dante first. Make Lulu a widow. Then Luke and Laura can watch him die. Get up. Get up. Out from behind the bar. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't shoot. Why not? Over here. We're in international waters. We just throw the carcass overboard. No one would ever know. Dante, you can't. Not yet. Uh, Laura's a little squeamish about bloodshed. Quit stalling. Where's Lulu? I can't help you. Bobby, shut up. You shut up and you listen to me. Okay? I don't care about your family or about your little war you have going with the Spencers, okay? All I care about is getting my wife back. So you take me to her right now. If she's alive, you live. And if she's not, you die. I don't follow orders, young man. Especially night. Well, it's time you got here. One more move and she gets it. Okay, Madam Cassidyne's employees are not exactly known for their sterling intelligence. So I'm gonna lay it out for you. Either you put your guns down like nice little henchmen, or he's gonna shoot her and we all watch her bleed to death. Or she can make it a lot easier on all of us and tell us what we want to know. Tell us, Helena, where's our daughter? Speak up! Enough already. Kill a bitch, I'll drop these two and we'll be done with this. Oh, for God's sake, stand down. Drop your weapons, throw them over there. I 
I think I know where she's holding the loot. I seriously doubt it. Where? And his friends at the WSB have oh, surveillance. Don't tell me you still have faith in the W. And his friends at the WSB have infrared surveillance of someone in a in a stateroom below deck. They're not moving, but they're alive. Maybe tied up. Is Lulu tied up? What have you done to my daughter? What Don't even do? think about it! One more time, one more time, and I promise you, I promise you, I will end her. All right. Is that a radio? Get it out. Call your associates. Tell them if they try to stop us, the dragon lady dies. Do it! Do as he says. Are those keys? Toss them over here. All personnel, stand down. I repeat, stand down. I'll take care of the old lady. I beg your pardon. You two go get her, girl. Back up! Where we get the guns? Yes. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. It's over, Elena. Your days of terrorizing the Spencers are over. Luke and Laura are gonna find my wife. And then we're gonna take her home. Do you really think it's going to be that simple? You poor, deluded man. Lulu? Oh my god. Oh my god, what have they done to my baby? Lulu? Ethan. Hey. I'm dead. Go. Oh, I can feel my arms. How long have you been here? I don't know. You must be Laura. Then you must be Ethan. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is not a real good time for introductions. Right. Well, glad as I am to see you both, I doubt you're here for me. No, we were looking for Lulu. Lulu has been kidnapped. Yeah, we thought that Helena was holding her here, but it turns out it's you. Helena, what? Is, it, is this the haunted star? Yes, but we're not in Port Charles. You know how she loves her cheap theatrics. We're somewhere out in the middle of the Atlantic. Where is she? She's up in the salon. Dante's got a gun on her. Listen, can you stand? Yeah, I so. Let's get you out of here. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. now well, let's hope he's been able to hold off helena's henchman otherwise this is going to be a really short reunion never a dull moment with those cassadines eh? can you remember anything about how you got here i was staying at lucky's place do they have lucky too no he's in africa doing help with some orphan kids or something like that he didn't tell me that he's been thinking about it for a while you know trying to do some good um, and needed a place to crash and lucky offered his flat in dublin and uh, I was getting his mail, and then I got a message from Nicholas who said something about the family being in danger. Lulu? I don't know. I, I didn't hear the end of the message. There were footsteps, and Helena showed up with two of her boy toys. Oh, that bitch is really working overtime with her winged monkeys snatching my kids. She said she was disappointed she missed Lucky, but, you know, she could use me as a distraction. That's what she said? A distraction? The last thing I remember before it was lights out. Well, that begs the question. What does she want to distract us from? Oh. Lulu gets a copy of the Ice Princess statue on Valentine's Day, and less than a month later, she disappears? Yeah, the only clue we had was that this tub was missing. Oh, you were hoping to find her here. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. Oh, please, don't apologize. Look, you're every bit as much a target as Lulu is. Well, all the same, appreciate the rescue. But why Lulu? I mean, as far as I know, Helena's never shown any interest in her. Mm. She has gone after Lucky more than once, so I don't know, maybe when she wasn't able to get him, she just sort of moved on to Lulu. Right, they're both your kids with Luke, so taking them hurts both of you. Yeah, that does seem to be what drives her. 
Yeah, she's a twisted old bloodsucker, isn't she? <laughs> Mind like a bag of snakes. <laughs> you know something, Ethan? Even if I hadn't been introduced to you, I think I, I might recognize you anyway. You're quite a bit like your dad. Hey, look, people. Assuming I can get this door open, we don't know what's on the other side, but we do know that we're outnumbered. So we're going to have to work together. Ethan, is that going to be okay for you? Well, count me in. Lulu's my sister, too. Luke's kid and not yours. And uh, I just want to say Lucky and Lulu are my family, too, and, and they mean a lot to me. I love them very much, but they've, they've spoken to me about you, and it's clear that they really care for you as well, so I just wanted to say I'm sorry for any awkwardness that I caused. Hey. Oh. Do me a favor. Dodge, don't you ever apologize for your existence. You didn't have a vote in how this happened. It's not what I meant, but... Ethan, I'm really glad to finally meet you. I'm sorry that it didn't happen sooner or under different circumstances, but you know, my kids have talked to me about you too, and it's really clear to me how much they love you. Okay. Now that we got that settled, <laughs> let's go find your sister. I'm afraid that's not possible. I take it we're not here to enjoy the view. Well, I thought we could all benefit from the fresh air. Gunpowder tends to linger in enclosed spaces. Where's Dante? What have you done to him? Did you really think that the bastard son of a gangster would be any match for a Cassidyne? If you killed him, it would all be your fault, like everything else. What are you doing, Helena? Why Lulu? Perhaps you don't appreciate a mother's need to avenge her sons. Oh, will you shut up about those dead kids of yours? Where's Dante? Dante's not going to be a problem anymore. Now, before we were so rudely interrupted, Laura was about to die. Time to finish the job. One who killed your seedy spawn and murdered your maniac of a husband. So if you're trigger happy, shoot me. You know, on second thought, I'm not gonna shoot anyone. Laura is. Oh. Oh, well, it's official. Senile dementia has kicked in. I assure you, I am quite rational. I'm not going to shoot anyone, Helena. Unless, of course, it's you. On the contrary. You are going to shoot Luke's son. Or I will kill your daughter. Go ahead. Save Lulu. Kill your husband's bastard. Oh, that was a smart move, arming Laura. Don't worry, it could be a good burial at sea. Oh, no, you won't. Assuming you ever want to see Lulu again. Only Ethan's death will save your daughter. Lest you be tempted to point that at me, my guards will kill all of you where you stand. Well, at least we can take you with us. Ah, but then what would become of Lulu? There's only one way to save your daughter, Laura. Kill Luke's son. No. Oh, would Luke be so noble if the positions were reversed? Do you think that Luke would spare Nicholas if he could trade his life for Lulu? For the love of God, just please shoot me if you'll shut this shrieking hobby up. <laughs> He's very like Luke, isn't he? This child, the product of Luke's infidelity. But why should he live if Lulu dies? Because Ethan is innocent. But so is Nicholas, lying helpless in a hospital bed when Luke almost killed him. No, Luke would have risked his life to save Lulu. Only one way, Laura. Kill Luke, son. Luke. 
My daughter would not want me to buy her life with any of her brother's lives. I refuse. Nobility is so <laughs> tedious. Very well. You can shoot Luke instead. I've been dead for 30 years. There I am. Why would you give somebody else the pleasure of killing me? Well, it's a courtesy. Now, one betrayed wife to another. Now, I dispatched my husband's mistress. I slit her throat while her daughter watched. But since you lack the obvious panache to kill Ethan's conwoman mother, you can avenge yourself by killing his father, your faithless spouse. You think you can force me to kill Luke? Oh, I doubt that much force would be required. Laura, this is the man who raped you, who cheated on you, who drove you to madness, and then abandoned you, and left you to rot in an asylum while he went on his merry way and married another woman. Laura, this is the man who calls your son Spawn. This is the man who would let Nicholas die. Kill him, Laura. Kill him and you can hold your daughter again. Kill him and my curse will be broken. She's right. There's only one way out of this. You have to take it. Go on, Laura. You know what you have to do. Say goodbye, old woman. Are you all right? I think so. Is she? Ding dong. The witch is dead. so harmless lying there. She tormented us for so many years. Kind of hard to believe she's actually gone. I don't think she believed you'd actually kill her. She was addicted to the game. She lived for it. She didn't realize it had all been played out. You know, I don't get why she's still coming after you after all this time. Don't bother to try to understand her. Dodge, she was insane. Crazy bitch. I should have killed her 30 years ago. But, better late than never, huh? It's over. Boy, what about Lulu? Uh, Elena took her. You're right. She was the only one who knew where Lulu was. The way you and Luke work together, you got him the gun. It's impressive. And thank you for not shooting me by the way. You don't have to thank me. There's no one down below. No sign of what Helena did with Lulu or Dante. Now she probably threw him overboard. We'll never find him. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Like, why are those lights flashing? Listen. Maybe it's Dante. Maybe he's coming back with the cavalry. No. No, something tells me that's Cassidy people. Reinforcements. The boys must have sounded the alarm. You can't be here when they get here. 
Luke's right. You gotta get off the ship right now. There's a launch tide right up there. I want you to take it. No, I'm helping you find Lulu. No, look, this is about me and Laura. Elena took Lulu to get back at us. We have the best chance of finding her. We'll never hurt seven extra pair of hands. Uh, you've done enough already. You helped us to stop Helena. We can take it from here. Really. I'm not letting you face her on that boat alone. Will you listen to me? Dodge. Take that launch. With any luck, one of these boats will follow you and leave us alone. Decoy? Yeah! That could be fun. All right. If you're going to do any good at all, you got to go now. I right, will. Hey, it was very nice to meet you. Yeah. Be safe. Be safe, young man. Go. Hey, doctor. Come here. You watch your back. I will. I learned from the best. You ready? You got a plan? Uh, give me a minute. Yeah, 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 I got something. You ready now? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go again. You ready? You got a plan? Yeah, 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 I got something. You ready now? Yeah, I'm ready. I was hoping you could tell me. Well, we're still dressed. Oh, yeah, right. Same clothes. Mm. Oh, my gosh. How long do you think we've been out? I don't know. The last thing I remember is the Cassidine men boarding the Haunted Star. Put up a pretty good fight, didn't we? <laughs> did we? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah we did. We were outgunned. Yeah. They came onto the deck. I told you to take cover, and I would distract them. Oh, oh! I was so happy when you finally showed up in that stateroom. Yeah, and it wasn't safe there, so we had to get out. <sighs> right. And you, you were listening at the door, and then. And then something knocked me out. Oh my god. That's just what they did to Lulu. We don't. Yeah. There's a surprise. We're locked in. Oh. Uh, so. So somebody carried us here from the Haunted Star and put us in bed together and locked us in? Oh, at least we know it wasn't Elena. I can't believe she's finally dead. I can't believe it took me 30 years to kill a bitch. Maybe this is retribution for killing her. Do you think Ethan got out? God, I hope so. Well, we, we did get him on the launch before the troops arrived. He's a very handy kid. My money's on Dodge, making it to the clear. I wish I could say the same about Dante. Lulu. Where could she be, Luke? I don't know, but I think it's a safe bet. Whoever did this with us has got her, which means we're getting closer. You don't know that. We're prisoners here. 
My phone's gone. So I... I can't even call to check on Nicholas. For all we know, he could be dead, Luke. No, come on now. Helena called Alexis, and she said that he was doing fine. So let's just stay focused on Lulu. Okay. First thing is we gotta get out of this damn room. Ugh. I know this place. Scotty's gonna be worried sick. Baldwin is in poor Charles in a hotel suite taking a bubble bath. Worry about us. Who could possibly be behind this? This is Cassadine Island. It's gotta be one of the inbreds that they dress up with trust funds and set loose on the world. Is there a secret way out of this room? No. I... No. The... Not unless they've added something since I was here before. I, I searched every inch of this room. This is where I... This is where I live with Stavros. That's where I gave birth to Nicholas. Who the hell would bring us back into this room? Okay, let's go. Let's just, uh... Let's think. Let's go through the usual suspects. Mikos, long dead. Elena, recently deceased. Stavros... Stefan, rotting corpses. That's it. Who, uh, who's left? You must. Well, we're not going out this window. Not that we'd want to. It's about a 200-foot drop down to the rocks below. Yeah. Once they've got you, they've got you. There's no way out. But they do get bored. At some point, they're going to want us to come out and play. Oh, hello. What? What is it? An invitation with our names on it. Oh, my God. You are cordially invited to join me in the formal dining room. Dress, black tie. I didn't bother to sign their name. No, but whoever it is is uncomfortably familiar with my end scene. Oh, and nothing but couture for the lady. beautiful thank you Luke all right whoever's running this show we're ready let's get this party started <gasps> I told you somebody was watching us well you ready Alexis, you don't understand. Helena didn't take right. Lulu. She, she doesn't have any reason I, 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 to. Okay, she doesn't just, care about Lulu. Helena doesn't just have one. does? Lulu? Lulu, are you here? Save your breath, Lulu. Can't be that easy. Stuff you need to listen both, to me. You both, I really you, need, you need to, to listen to me. Down. It's not I don't talk about Helena. It's not Helena. My father has Lulu. She doesn't care about her. He she has no reason to. If Helena didn't take her, then who did? Listen, would you please just listen to me? It's not Helena. 
My father has a little... Your father? Yes. Nicholas, what are you talking about? He's talking about Stavros. Stavros? Hello, Laura. Luke? Stavros. I thought I got a whiff of formaldehyde. This can't be happening. You're dead. And yet, here I am. Back. And better than ever. It's him. It's Stavros. Nicholas, you're confused. I, I just not, perfectly understand. I am not She's right. He's got confused. To it's, the, to clear. it's the whole reason I came back here dead. was to warn Lulu. Okay, Nicholas, listen it, to me. You need to rest. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like resting right now. Yes, because when you wake up, things will make sense. I am making sense. Stavros is alive. Please, sit. After all, you are my guest of honor. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, Laura. Such hurtful words. After all, we've been... Through. How do you expect her to treat you, you freak? You've come back from the dead twice. Reports of all of our deaths have been exaggerated. Have they not? At one point or another. What makes this time such a surprise? How's this for a surprise, huh? You cheated death twice. You know, the third time's the charm. Where I helped Robert Scorpio. Yes, when you lured Helena back here, trying to find out if Duke was really Faison. Yes, once I knew that Helena found out it was a ploy, she would be furious. What made you think that? Look, I just wanted this whole confrontation to be over with and move on. So I left Spencer at home with Leslie and the servants and flew to Greece. I bet that went well. You ungrateful boy. Not a boy, grandmother. You're certainly not a man. Men stand by their family. They do not deceive their own. Cesar Faison is a criminal. If he was posing as someone else, people needed to know about it. You should have asked. You've told me the truth? No, I don't think so. I was doing the people of Port Charles, some of whom are very dear to me, a service. End of story. Nicholas. Nicholas, when will you realize that loyalty, loyalty is everything, even more so now than ever before? Oh, and why do you say that? And do you think that I would confide in you after this, this stunt you pulled? Nicholas, you, you are my life. And now you've shown me that you're untrustworthy. Can you give me a chance to prove otherwise? I knew Helena was hiding something. So I just played the dutiful grandson. And it gave me time to investigate. There's a boat by the docks. It's not one of ours. Come on. Hey, Nicholas, what are you doing here? Where's Alejandro's? Uh, we had a boat emergency. Oh, run along, Nicholas. This is no concern of yours. Uh, go find Alejandro's. Who is that? Father? The way I see it, there's nothing stopping me from slicing your throat from ear to ear. No, look, don't do it. He's the only one who knows where Lulu is. She has a point. But go ahead, Spencer. Kill me. I'll die comforted knowing that you know Rose, please tell us where our daughter is, please. All in good time. No, not in good time. I promise. You start talking now! I promise that I will share every last detail. But first, join me for dinner. Does not make any 
any sense. Uh, Luke saw Stavros die. He fell into this pit of nothing. There's no way he could have survived that. Cass and I, they're hard to kill. I thought he was dead. Well, clearly not. Well, where's he been for the last ten years? Recovering. Here? Stavros survived that dreadful fall, though thanks to Luke Spencer. By the time I got to him, he was in terrible shape. He was barely able to register a pulse. You saved him? Well, I pulled my son from the brink once before. I was prepared to do it again. Oh, this, this is crazy. Slowly but surely, he's regaining his strength. Soon my son, my Stavros, will come back to us. Healthier? And stronger than ever. Neither of you has touched your food. You don't think we've had it poisoned? That would be the only thing that made sense today. Hmm. Say what you will about my family. Oh, I have. We do not poison our guests. When a Cassidyne comes for you, he looks at you in the eye as your life drains away. What a lovely sentiment. Hmm. But you have to know, Laura, that I would never harm you. Not after everything we shared. Don't touch me. Your attitude is... <laughs> I had hoped we could be a family again. Is that what you want? Is 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 that what this is about? That why we're here? I, I I'll do it if that's what you want. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no. No negotiating until we know the terms. If you will let my daughter go, I will stay here with you. I will stay here with you willingly. I worked very hard to prove my loyalty. I helped her nurse my father back to health. Soon he was not only conscious but talking and more obsessed than ever he was always infatuated with with laura what does that have to do with lulu father what are you doing Never return my affections the way I desire, the way you once did. You don't know that. But I do. <clears throat> I have given up on our future in order to hold on to our past. I, I just don't understand. I thought that, I thought that us together was what you wanted. The way we used to be when it was perfect. Before Spencer tarnished your feelings for me. You mean before she found out I was still alive and found her way off this island of maniacs? No, Luke. It's all right, Laura. I have accepted the fact that you and I will never again be together. Besides, I've met someone else. The woman in the photo Stavros was looking at wasn't Laura. It was Lulu. Lulu. My princess. And now that her husband has been disposed of, there's nothing standing in my way. Lies my father was even more disturbed than before. And that's saying something. So I went to Helena for answers. Why is my father doing this? Oh, darling, please. There's, there's well, you sick. just answered the question. I put in my time. I deserve to know. <sighs> please. <No. sighs> Your father was barely cognizant during the first years. I tried everything that I could do to stimulate his recovery, but... I even told him about his grandson, Spencer. 
And when that didn't work, I even tried to convince him that there was another newborn heir. That's why you faked the DNA test. To make me believe Aiden was my son. For, for my father. Well, and it was all in vain. Oh, anyway. Anyway, several consultations were still needed to treat Stavros. Oh, there was a brilliant German, German doctor. She took Would us to Switzerland to her clinic. Get on with the story. Well, while flying back to Greece, our plane had to make a weather-related landing in Istanbul. No, I was, I was trying to be discreet, but suddenly, Nicholas, I, I saw your father light up, saying his first words since the accident. My Laura. What do you mean, light up, my Laura? Did he, did he see her in Turkey? No, 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 she wasn't there. Apparently, Luke, Luke had found himself locked in a Turkish prison. Well, he was... <sighs> He was free, and he was being escorted home by Dante Falconieri and your sister. Okay, he, so he saw Lulu. Yes, but he believed that Lulu was Laura, just as he remembered her from their time together here. And he wanted her back. Well, I, I have tried to disabuse him of this fantasy, but Stavros... Stavros is convinced that Lulu, your sister, is the woman that he fell in love with many years ago. What the hell have you done with my daughter? Lulu is everything that you once were. Pure and innocent. So much so that when I first saw her, I mistook her for you. If you so much as harmed a hair on her I head... I think you have the wrong idea. I want her preserved exactly as she is. We're taking her home. Where the hell is she? Oh, calm down, Luke. Not until we see our daughter. I think you two have the wrong idea. I'm merely courting Lulu. I have been ever since I gave her... This. I knew what Stavros had put my mother through. I wasn't about to let her do the same thing to Lulu. And once he regained his facilities, I tried to reason with him. The woman that you are in love with, who's in that photo, it's not, it's not Laura. She's not my mother. Don't be ridiculous. I would know Laura anywhere. She's as gorgeous now as the first day I brought her here. Father, would you would you please look? See this? That's Laura. Next to her is my sister Lulu, Laura's daughter with Luke. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does, because it's the truth. That that young woman is not who you think she is. I was going to send this to her. Bring her back. Remind her of the time we had together. You realize you have to let this go, don't you? Yes. I understand. I understand it all. The Ice Princess? So you were the one that sent that chunk of crap to her? I saw it, and it made me think of her. Decorative only, of course. My second gift was far more useful. Wake up, can you hear me? Hello, honey, wake up, open your eyes, okay? Can you hear me? Lulu, but couldn't get through, so I called Lucky. 
Did you talk to him? No, he didn't pick up. I left him a message. You're lucky it's Nicholas. I don't have a lot of time. Who was in trouble? My father's alive. He's going after our sister. And just when I thought I could trust you. Take the phone. As for you, my dear Nicholas, we'll have much to discuss later. Prepare the jet. Tell the captain we're headed to Ireland. Grandmother, you don't have to. I eventually escaped and made my way here. But I was too late. So I carried Lulu to the haunted star. We were about to set sail when I found out that our son was in Port Charles, prepared to expose me. Couldn't have that. You had Nicholas shot? He has no concept of the word loyalty, unlike his would-be assassin who would rather die than expose my name. So you popped your own kid, and then what happened? Lulu and I set sail for the open seas. You're lying. When we got on board that ship, there was no sign of you or Lulu. There was just Helena the and... bastard. His son. This from a man who was supposed to love you. Why involve Ethan? My mother found out that Nicholas was trying to warn Lucky. So she went to Ireland to retrieve him and found Ethan instead. She thought the bastard would be a good diversion while I brought Lulu here and sent the planes to escort you. But not all of us, where's Dante? I presume that my mother fed him to the sharks. Homicidal mommy has been targeting my family for decades. She was long overdue for a bullet, and I was, oh, so happy to oblige. Yes, of course. I saw what you did. All will be well. I'm taking care of my mother the same way that she took care of me. Try to warn Lulu about Dante, then he... he had me shot to keep me quiet. What kind of psycho puts a hit out on his own son? If he'd do that to me, God knows what he has planned for Lulu. Like Helena took care of you? What are you saying? You put the old bitch on ice? Just like I did to my new princess. What did you do to her? She is quite safe. What did you mean when you said you've done to her what Helena did to you? More or less. Of course, there have been advances in medical science, so... Helena had you frozen! Kept your carcass that way for years. Is that what you've done to our it daughter? It is, as I said. I am her prince. And she is my ice princess. Uh! I'm right here, okay? Can you hear me? It's me. <laughs> Where is my daughter? What have you done to her? I did what was necessary. Yeah? Well, a windpipe is necessary for breathing. How about I tear yours out with my bare hands? Your daughter is very stubborn, Laura. 
She didn't want to submit to the life I had envisioned for us here. A life like we once had. I remember Stavros. But what have you done to Lulu? She's very much like you. Stubborn. Like you once were. When we lived. When you loved me. Before you abandoned me and our son. To go back to him. You could give a crap about your son. You had him shot. He was tainted. Only my princess is pure. Stavros, tell us, please. Where is my daughter? Your daughter was too hot-blooded. I had to cool her down. Lulu, I know you can hear me, baby. I'm, I came to get you. I'm not going to let you die in there. listening to this psycho. Either he tells us where Lulu is or I'm going to kill him with my bare hands, I swear to God. No. Wait. Stavros. Stavros, look at me, please. Look at me. Please. Whatever you have done to Lulu, it's not too late. You can still stop it. You can. If you ever loved me the way that you say that you did, and if there's just a little bit of that love left, then I'm begging you, please, take me to my daughter. Minus 200 degrees. Baby, I know you can hear me. I want you to keep listening to my voice, okay? I've almost got you, okay? I'll be right in there. I almost got you. You can still stop. My ice princess! You will ruin everything! What the hell did you do to her, you son of a bitch? I have preserved her the way she was meant to be. Well, I think it's a little bit too late. Except we're trash your little computer over here. It's still functioning. Oh, yeah? Why don't you take a look at it? You will regret interfering. Pardon? We need his thumbprint over there. He's got Lulu in that room. Hun, what have they done to you? Lulu? Lulu? She's not moving. Look, she's not moving. She's not moving. Be careful. Be careful. Don't hurt her. Hey, we're here, baby. We're here. It's you, me, and your mom. I told you to get you, okay? Yeah, you're going to be all right, Cupcake. We got you. Look, she's freezing cold. Here. We've got to get a blanket. Is there a blanket anywhere? You regret touching her! She's my ice princess! Shut up, you maggot. Get over there. Get over there. She will regret this. Come on, baby, let's 
for me? Or? Yeah. Here. Cover her legs up. Yeah. Well, I will not be denied. Denied. She's mine. She's she's my ice princess. Shut, Shut up or I'll blow you away. Do not take her from me. She's mine. She's mine. Mine. Don't take her from How is she? I can't get close. I might have a cold slow down her heart rate. Well, nothing's, she's not breathing, Luke. Okay, nothing's happening. No, 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 my baby girl, no. Talk to me. She's not going to die. Okay? No. You are not going to die. No, no, my baby. Okay, stay with me, okay, baby? Come with me. Okay, not today. Not today, not today, not today you're not going to leave me, okay? Are you sure there's no pole? Are you checking? Are you checking? No. We just have to warm her up. That's, that's all it is. Come on. We've got to warm her up. Lulu, come on, baby. Come on, honey. We're just going to warm you up. Come on, honey. It's mommy. Honey, it's mommy. Come on, honey. You can take a breath for me. You hear my voice? Breathe, Lulu. Breathe. No. Oh, God. What? what Lulu, she... please. You, say she's you gone? can do it. You say she's gone? Gone. No, no, no. No, 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 baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I said I was going to protect you. <laughs> Take your filthy hands off of her. She's mine. She's mine. My ice princess. Take your hands off her. You killed my daughter. You son of a bitch. You killed my daughter. <laughs> No! Don't stop me! He killed my daughter! Our daughter! No! No! Turn it off! Turn it off! No, no, no! Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh! You bastard! Whoa. Theros is finally gone. For good this time, hell finally froze over. He deserved worse. He killed our daughter. Lulu. Lulu, you can't be dead. Okay, this can't be happening. You can't really be dead. <laughs> My baby. My beautiful, beautiful baby girl. Here you go. be gone. My gosh, they were just handing you to me just just a few minutes ago. My beautiful daughter. I'm Leslie too. And you were so happy. And you were so full of life. Everything that I could have ever hoped for. Everything and more. Thank you, sweet soul. Thank you for being my daughter. And I wanted to be a better mother. But I was so sick for so many years. I missed time with you. Precious time. And I know I wasn't there at times when you really needed me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and now you're gone. <laughs> the Gassadites took you from me. Oh my God, it should have been me. <laughs> it should have been me, honey. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> Thank you, sweet soul. Fly away, beautiful bird. Fly away. So proud to have been your father. This is 
is why I don't believe in God. There is no God that would allow this to happen. What kind of twisted, sick sense of humor would allow me to take a little girl and spend so much time ice fishing when she was going to grow up to freeze to death? day that your grandmother brought you to live with me like it was yesterday. This pissed off teenager spewing sarcasm, <laughs> reeking of attitude just like me. <laughs> we were so much alike. Stubborn, cynical, couldn't have any patience for fools or for hypocrites. We went through some dark times together. You stood by me when nobody else would. You faced down your demons and you won. And it took my demons, my past, my enemies to do this to you. <laughs> to drag you here and put you through this hell. I am your father. It was my responsibility to protect you, and I failed. I failed you. I'm so sorry. First met you at Jake's. <laughs> you were over on the jukebox. Probably putting on some terrible music. <laughs> and then we played some pool together. And you kicked my butt. Right before your brothers kicked my butt for trying to pick you up. And right then that was the start of something amazing. Man, you were, you were way, way too good for me. <laughs> Saw you that night on the pier. And, uh, you, you, you were stoked, but you were so, so funny and so beautiful. They came across your mind, you just, just said it out loud. When you kissed me that night, I, I already knew I was in love with you. You were the one. I know I've said that, but I don't know if you believe it, but you were the one. The one I could without and now you're not here I will always love you and I promise I promise I can keep so long I think I hear a heartbeat. Okay. What? I think I hear a heartbeat. 
Double check, check. I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> There's a pulse. Yeah. There's a pulse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Luke. Come on. Hey. Come on. Have you opened those eyes? Oh. Oh my god. Come on. That's your girl. Oh That's your girl. One more. Come on. One more. Breathe, baby. One more. Just We're keep right breathing. here, honey. We're all here. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Lou? Oh, thank God, sweetheart. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah. You're okay, sweetheart. You're here with all of us. Yeah, and we all love you, okay? You're gonna be okay. Lulu, can you hear us, honey? Yes? Are you in pain? Can you talk to us, honey? That's okay, okay baby. Right. Just just give it a little time. Okay. Yeah, he does right. He does right. Just gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah. Where am I? Okay. We're in Greece. Okay? Stavros Cassidy and kidnapped you, but it's okay. You're gonna be fine. We're here, okay? Lulu, Stavros can never hurt you again. I promise you that. That's right. That problem has been dealt with permanently. We're just going to get you to the hospital now, honey. We just want to make sure that everything's okay. Yeah, then we're going to get you home, okay? And I love you so much. All right. I've never seen you people before in my life. Let's not push it, right? I mean, you just came back to us, so let's get you out of here and get... No. Okay? No, I'm not going anywhere with you. I don't know you. Who are you, people? Okay, it's okay. You've been through an awful lot. It's all right. Just give yourself a minute and let the cobwebs clear. Okay? What are you talking about? Who are you? I'm your mother. And who are you? Can't forget your old man, right? I'm, uh, baby. I'm your husband, Dante. No, you're not. My husband's name is Stavros Cassidyne. Stavros Cassidyne is my husband. I, I want to know where he is. No, honey. That man is not your husband. Whatever that bastard told you is a lie. No, you're a liar. Stavros! Stavros! No, 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 no. What did you do to me? We saved your life, Lulu. Sweetie, Stavros Cassidyne is a kidnapper and much, much worse. Look at me. Look at me. I am your husband. No, stop saying that. I don't know you. Yes, you do. You do. Who do you think put this ring on my finger? You did. And this one on your finger? I'm the one who put that there. Stavros gave me that ring. No, he did not. I gave you that ring. On Christmas Eve, after we said our vows in a little church in Brooklyn, my whole family crashed the wedding. I don't remember. Well, we love each other very much. You remember that, don't you? Funny thing. Yeah, Lulu Spencer Falconeri, you are my wife. We live in Port Charles, New York. That man, Stavros Cassidy. My husband. No, your kidnapper. He brought you here to take you away from me. He brought you here so he could. So he what? Keep you from me. But he couldn't because I came after you anyway. The same thing you would have done for me because we love each other. Okay? Dante, Dante, let's take a break, okay? Dante, just take a break. Come on, son. It's fine. Sweetheart, just relax. Take a breath. Come here, honey. I know. But it doesn't feel like it right now, sweetheart. But everything's gonna be okay. Right? Just let her be. She's my wife. Well, she's my daughter. Well, have you told her that? Yes, and I'll tell her again when she calms down. But if you keep force-feeding her information, she's just gonna dig her heels in. And what if whatever this guy did to her sticks and she doesn't remember who she is? What if she never remembers any of us? So, 
Don't jump to conclusions. She's in shock. Stavros messed with her head. There's no reason to believe that this is permanent. She doesn't recognize her own family, Luke. She doesn't have her memory back, but she's got her personality. We'll get the rest in time. We don't even know what Stavros did to her. Could have been... It doesn't matter damage. what he did to her. He's gone. It's over. And no Cassine ever got the better of Spencer. And I'm telling you, this is not the time when they will. I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is... Stavros. There's nothing else. I, I don't know who I am. It's all right. Because I do remember. You are my daughter, Lulu. Lulu? Yes. What kind of name is that? <laughs> well, I guess it's kind of a nickname, right? Uh, let's see. Um, your, your real name is Leslie Lou Spencer Falconeri. Mouthful. Well, there's a lot of history there. I named you a little bit for myself and a lot for my mother, Leslie. And we both love you so much, honey. I wish that meant something to me. Me too. What? <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta get you off this island now. Why? Because it's a graveyard full of bodies of people who have no love for you. Bodies? Stavros? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> What am I saying? I am not sorry. The son of a bitch kidnapped you and brainwashed you into thinking that you were his wife. He's dead, and I'm glad he's dead. Okay, Luke, stop. Now, I know that you have no reason to trust us. You have very little reason to want to go with three people that you don't remember. But, sweetheart, there's absolutely no reason for you to stay alone here in this boneyard. So please, come with the people who love you. To, to go where? Where you'll be safe. Where you'll have a chance of getting better. Let us take you home, Lulu. Do anything. I never could. You always want your own way. But maybe this time, just this once, you should go your own way with us. Before some other Cassidyne freak shows up who wants to put us all on ice. But, but I'm Stavros' wife. I'll be safe here. No, the only person who believed that you were Stavros' wife was Stavros. The rest of his family... ...are going to want you out of the way. When you put it that way. You got it? I got it. Okay. Lulu agreed to come back to Port Charles with us. Yeah, I wasn't sure she was going to there for a while. Mm -hmm. She doesn't remember anything about her life. And she still looks at us like we're complete strangers. Yeah, I know. She's so confused. For one minute, Stavros has her locked up and frozen. And we've got her on a plane with people she doesn't recognize. Going back to a home she doesn't remember. Well, as soon as we land, we should get her over to General Hospital and see if somebody can figure out what it is. Stavros did to her memory. Yeah. But you know, that in and of itself can be pretty terrifying, you know? And dealing with doctors who are trying to cure you is a painful reminder that you are broken. Long flight from Athens, huh? I guess. 
Well, we're almost on the ground, and, and when we are, we, we'll be in the city. Then maybe seeing all that stuff will bring some memories back. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Well, she's his wife. He's entitled to talk to her. Yes, but she's overwhelmed. I don't want him to upset her any further. Laura, he loves her. He's walked through fire to find her. I know. And sometimes that kind of love can feel like pressure. You know, we used to spend a lot of time on the waterfront. This one pier in particular. And I don't know, maybe again, maybe it's just something you'll see and, and some things will start to come back to you. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm really tired, David. It's uh, Dante. Right. But I, I'm still tired. You're not tired. Lulu. You're scared and confused, and when we get home, you're going to feel better. Port Charles, New York. Right. Where there's people who love you, and the rest of our families, and, and a bunch of friends. Yeah, but see, the only person that I can remember is the guy who supposedly kidnapped me. Let's go with that. Let's stick with some positive things. We're gonna we're gonna get off this plane. We're gonna be back home. You're gonna remember things, and and you're gonna remember that we were happy together because of, especially right now because of our baby. Baby. What are you talking about? What baby? Telling me that we have a kid together? No. No, we don't have a kid yet, but soon. Oh my God, what, am I, am I pregnant? Yes. No. And nobody told me? No, no, okay. So what are you Stop. talking We're about? Not pregnant. We have a surrogate. Maxie is carrying our child. Who is Maxie? She's your best friend. You couldn't carry our child. She offered to do it for us. We wanted a baby bad enough, so we decided to go ahead with having a surrogate. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I, I don't know, Maxie. I don't know if I want to have a baby, and I definitely don't know you. Okay, yeah, I get it. Get it. I just thought that. I'm sorry. No, I'm I sorry. No, I just. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I thought. I don't know what I thought. Okay. I don't remember any of this. Okay. I, the more you keep talking to me, the more I feel like I can't breathe. Dante. Yeah. Let's switch seats. Just trying to help. I know, son. I know. That's okay. It's okay, honey. It's all right. Everything's gonna be okay. No. Lulu, I promise you that everything is gonna be all right. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm okay. so glad to see you. I was so worried about you. Yeah, okay, look at you. God. Like death, won't Something tight here. Oh, no, 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 Dante, I'm sorry. Did that just happen or am I having another hallucination? No, it it happened. Look, I wanted to tell you when I called you, but I thought she would be better by the time we got home. Stavros Castellano almost killed her. Trauma has, I don't know, messed up her memory. Obviously, she doesn't recognize me or Olivia. No, it isn't just you guys. She doesn't recognize any of us. She doesn't, she doesn't even remember who Maxie is or that she's carrying our child. I mean, she freaked out when I told her we were going to be parents. So, uh, Dante. Well, there's got to be some kind of treatment to, to, to reverse what, what Stavros did. There's got to be a way to, to, to help Lulu remember. Well, we're going to take her over to General Hospital. We're hoping that Dr. Drake can come up with something to help. God, honey, I, I am so sorry. Just, I'm really worried about her. I mean, it's her, you know, you can tell with her reactions, but she's surrounded by people who are strangers to her, and she's terrified, and I understand that. That's why she's pushing everyone away, but she's trying to handle it all by herself. I know this isn't easy, honey, 
if Dante's parents didn't mean to upset you. You know, I get it. It's not their fault. They want me to be someone that I, I can't be. They love you just like your dad and me, like Dante. We, we all just want you to be yourself, that's all. Yeah, I, I want that. I, believe me, I, I want to make you all happy and, and be this person that you want, but I don't know her. Okay, I, I don't know myself. Okay, please don't run away again. You could get lost. You see, that is it. That is what I am. You know what, Luke, seeing your daughter go through this, is, it's got to be tough. I'm sorry. It's just so bizarre. You know, after what we went through to find her, get her back, and now it's like she isn't Lulu. I understand now, you know. Hey, are you, uh, you, you feeling any better? All right, well, maybe, maybe we should go to the hospital now. I've got her. Come on, honey. Let's go. Yeah. I think what you're going to have to do is let, you know, Patrick do his thing. He's brilliant at it. Yeah. Yeah, the hard part is over. Honey, you got her home safe and sound. This is just going to be a little bit of a setback. Okay? I hope so. Yeah. Um, look, thank you both for being here and welcoming us. I know under other circumstances she would have really appreciated it. I guess the balloons in the sign was a little much, huh? No, well, mine was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How are you guys? Right. Find anything out? Great. Oh, my God, this is terrible. What if she's never the same old Lulu that loves our son? Let's just hope Dante never has to find out. Oh. Hi. Hi. I guess we both had the same idea. <laughs> How's Lulu? I haven't seen her. She's out. With Sonny's meatball? No, no. She's with Dante. Apparently, she agreed to go with Dante and Maxie to Maxie's OB appointment, which I'm hoping is a very good sign. Yeah. 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 Well, what are you doing here alone? You know, we're not supposed to crowd her, but I just can't make myself go home. You know, I, I'm going to stay here until she gets back, and I'm just going to really hope that that doesn't upset her. Care for company? The Seps to die for. Oh, <clears throat> this whole magazine devoted to arms? What's up with that? Hmm. Hey, did you talk to Bobby? Yeah, I have. She's back in Seattle. Apparently getting reacquainted with Noah Drake. Really? Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. How's Nicholas? He is out of the hospital, and he's recuperating at Winder Windermere. That bastion of peace and tranquility, huh? Um, he really wants to see his son. My mom's going to bring Spencer out for a visit. That's going to be so nice for me to mm. see both of them. Yeah. Maybe somebody should warn Monica that Leslie's on her way. Or not. Just sit back, watch the sparks fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be entertaining. <laughs> so, are you still planning to banana peel it down the aisle with Baldwin? We are still planning to get married. I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. Does the dark day draw nigh? No. I told Scotty that uh, wedding had to wait until Lulu got a little better. Oh, that's awkward. No, Scotty completely understood that. I mean for me. How so? Well, I want my daughter back, you know. I want her to get better. But the faster that happens, the sooner you will make the biggest mistake of your life by marrying that slug. Please! It's gone on so long! 
Really? Don't you think it's about time to put this rivalry that you have with Scotty to rest? Did I imagine the last 30 years of slime and dirty tricks? He's a worm, Laura. He'll always be a worm. He's not good for you or anybody else. By the way, you've had worse reviews. And I have never let other people's opinions stop me. Maybe you should have. Oh, please, Luke. I knew exactly what I was doing when I married you. People could say whatever they wanted about you. They could tear you down. And they did. And it didn't matter. Because I loved you. And I have never regretted a single day of our life together. Despite all the reasons I gave you. I was pretty far from perfect myself. They were wonderful days. Yeah. We had more highs than lows. Yes. We had something good going there for a while. We had something great. You know, when we were out there chasing after Lulu and... I don't know, it, it almost seemed like... Like what? Like maybe... We still have something. <laughs> Probably just the adrenaline rush, sorry. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> shirt that Lucky had when he was 10 years old. It had a logo of some kind of heavy metal band on the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, and he wore it day after day for months. Yes, I know, with the mysterious stains on it and the frayed sleeves. Yeah, and, and he wouldn't let us get rid of it. I know, even, even when, when he, it didn't fit him anymore. Right. We don't fit anymore. And it's time to let go. I don't know which is worse. Having to say goodbye to you or having a relationship compared to a sweatshirt. I loved sweatshirt, I cherished sweatshirt. And we can never say goodbye. We have two incredible children together. Lucky and Lulu. Luke. Hmm? I wish you nothing but the best. Shoot the same. Wow. Well, um, so by any chance, would this mean that you might uh, give me and Scotty your blessing? You know, or at least not try to stand in the way? Have I ever been able to stand in the way of your doing anything? Ha, 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 ha.
Hang on. Wait for Lulu, but I have a plane to catch. Oh, you're going to leave town? Really? Now? Just for a day. Oh. I have some TAQ business. Excuse me? Uh, Tracy Angelica Quartermain. Oh. She's starting her own empire. Of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope Lulu's okay. I mean, I'm sure she will be. Don't give up on her. Mm-mm. Never. We'll get our daughter back. You're right. We will. Hey, Luke, wait a minute. It's one of my favorites. And I want you to have it now. And I want you to remember that we will always be with you. lived in than I imagined. <laughs> you never had a problem with that before. wedding. My wedding. Our wedding? In New York? No. My wedding to Stavros on the Haunted Star. What is... What are you talking about? You married Stavros? Look, I, I know this is difficult, but you gotta, you gotta walk me through this. You married Stavros. You're sure? I remember. Lulu. Leslie Lou. What? She asked you a question. I thought you had more of Luke in you, but you're proving to be as vapid as your mother. Pay attention. I'm sorry. Could you repeat the question? Ah, there's that Spencer mouth. Stavros will cure you of that in no time at all. Now, answer me. Do you? Take my beloved son to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part. his wife when we found you on that island you woke up and you asked for your husband Stavros I thought you were confused it was real I married him I'm so sorry except they didn't you were being way too hard on yourself Okay, they were holding you hostage at gunpoint in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You had no choice but to marry Stavros. No, I did have a choice. He gave me a choice. Come, Lulu. Your fiancé awaits. What the hell is this? What does it look like? You can't be serious. I'm not one for joking around. You're going to force me to marry him at gunpoint? If you marry me, it will be of your own free will. 
Well, then we're going to need to call this off right now. As you wish. You may return to your room. That's it? We're done? See to her family. Right away. See to what about my family? Their deaths, of course. What? You can't do that. Ah, oh, but we can. Your beloveds are being watched by my agents as we speak. One simple phone call, they'll all be killed. Your mother, your father, your husband, even your baby and the woman who carries it. I don't understand. I thought you loved my mother. I love you more, and I will do anything to have you. But if I change my mind and I go through with the wedding, then your family remains safe, from, from the Cassidines at least. <clears throat> the choice is yours. Accept my ring, take your place as my wife, or return to your room and those you say you love, leave them to die. I said yes. I chose to marry Stavros. I chose to marry him to protect you and to keep the rest of my family safe. You did the right thing. The only thing, if the Cassidines threatened to kill your family, they would have done that. I wish I knew you better. Why? Then I'd know if you were just saying that. I'm not. Lulu, from where I'm sitting, you're a hero. Your mom, your dad, me, our child. We owe you our lives. And the marriage wasn't legal. You already married to me. And you were blackmailed into it. So, so no, no feeling guilt or ashamed. Okay? We just, we, we, we move on. No, you don't from understand. This. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Okay? Then, then make me understand. Make me understand. Stop. Make me understand. I know, I know I'm a virtual stranger to you, but you can trust me. Okay? You can tell me anything. It's not just that I married Stavros, there's more to it than that. I didn't think that it could get any worse. But the wedding was, it was just the beginning. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, go ahead, Stavros, kiss your bride. Going back on your decision so soon. I married you, didn't I? And now you act as my wife. One simple phone call. Fine. That's my good princess. <laughs> and make me believe it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. The thought of the thought of that monster, you Okay, look. Look, you did what you have to do. Okay? You humored Stavros, okay? You gave him one stupid kiss, that doesn't mean anything. It wasn't just one kiss. Hey, you can tell me anything. If you want. Well, welcome to the family, Lulu. And do try to be a better wife to my son than your ungrateful mother was. Well, shall we hug? Congratulations, my darling. Thank you, Mother. I would imagine that you want to continue your wedding night in peace. The stateroom is ready for you and your bride. I hope to your satisfaction. I'm sure it's perfect. Just like my Lulu. Enjoy yourselves. We will. I couldn't believe it was actually happening. But it was. He wanted... He wanted what? Stop. 
Ambrose wanted me to consummate the marriage. I told him no chance in hell. Do you think I responded? And then? He said, fine. He said that it was my choice. But that if I made it, that I left him without one. He was going to come after you, Dante. He was going to come after you and my parents and our baby. So I did it. I agreed. I did it, Dante. I agreed. Stavra said that I had a choice. But what kind of choice was that? Consummate the marriage or lose everyone that I love. I didn't know what else to do. So you. You slept with him? Before she's asleep with him. It's okay. You can tell me the little I can take it. I promise you. You might actually surprise yourself and enjoy this. I know I will. I promise to be gentle. Come, my dear. It is our wedding night. No. No what? I'm not going anywhere or enjoying anything with you. You're disgusting. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. Do you forget the consequences of denying me? Surely you want to keep your loved ones safe. Yeah, of course I do. My family is my world, but they would not want me to throw away my life for theirs. They love me too much, and I am going to honor that love. By having them killed. By doing this. I'm through with this so-called marriage. My husband is Dante Falconeri. He gave me these rings on the day I became his wife. I love him. And nothing you do can change that. I couldn't do it. And by not sleeping with Stavros, I put all of your lives at risk. Especially my brother's. You did the right thing, not sleeping with Stavros. Don't lie to me. I'm not. You said that I did all that I could when you thought I kissed him. This is a lot to absorb. Okay, I'm trying to be supportive. There's a big difference between kissing someone and sleeping with them. I just don't want you to say what you think I want to hear. Do you? So what happened after you said no? Are you positive you don't want to reconsider? Never been more positive in my life. Fine. Then I will be eliminating your family one by one. Let's start with, hmm, let's see. How about your brother, Nicholas? Nicholas? He's your son. You wouldn't do that. Well, unfortunately, you have forced my hands. Do you have a bead on Nicholas? Excellent. Kill him. No! Nicholas could have died. And it would have been my fault. I got Nicholas shot. Hey. My own brother. Hey, your brother, he's fun. Yeah, yeah, what's a, what's a gaping bullet wound, right? You know what, the hospital stitched that up. There's nothing gaping anymore. Your brother's alive. No one was hurt that badly. Except for you. Why don't you uh, tell me what else you remember? How did you wind up in that room? 
that lab where your parents and I found you. What did you do to my brother? Same thing my mother and her guards will do to Dante, Luke, and Laura when they get here. They're coming to the haunted star? Don't get excited. By the time they get here, you'll be long gone. Where? Cassidine Island. I plan to reward your coldness with a deep freeze of my own. I put your life at risk, Dante, all of your lives, just to save myself. I don't deserve to remember any of you. Hey, listen to me. This is not your fault. Okay, some deranged lunatic tried to make you sleep with him. I don't care what he threatened you with. You said no. That's Lulu, I know. I just couldn't think anymore about what he had done to Nicholas or, or what he was going to do to all of you. It's, it's like everything in my mind, it just stopped. And Stavros dragged me into that cold place. And that's when you lost your memory. It's over now. Okay? Stavros is dead. There is nothing stopping you from reclaiming your life. I don't deserve to. The hell to. you don't. The hell you don't, okay? When you said you wouldn't give your up for ours, that was the right thing. You did the right thing. Okay? Look at me. Maybe look at me, standing up to Stavros. That took guts. Okay, I wouldn't have expected anything less. I'm proud of you. You make me sound like a badass. <laughs> You're the baddest. Yeah. Oh, please. Please just let all this go. Your family's still here. And we still love you. So come back to us, okay? Your mother. Mother, your father, your father, your husband, your husband, Maxie, her child, even your baby, we're all still here. The woman who carries it. So come back to us, Lou. So, Lou, do you, uh, do you come here often? I'm all for you being you. I can't believe this. That's her baby. Oh, just. Oh, my God. What? I remember. What? My life. Everyone. I remember you. What do you mean? You do? I remember, I remember you. I remember everything. You do? Yeah. What? Okay, well, tell me a memory. Tell me a memory. I don't care what it is. Just tell me whatever memory you remember. Uh, 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 do I have to bust out my Yankees jersey? Pretty good, right? Better than our first. You remember? <laughs> I remember everything. <laughs> I remember our first kiss, and our first fight, and our first date at the opera. And I, I remember Maxie, and our baby. We're having a baby. <laughs> We're gonna be parents, you and me. Swisher, I'm. You know, I miss you so much. It was really starting to hurt. I missed you too. I didn't even know it. It was, it was like there was this emptiness that I was carrying around with me, guy. Like I'd lost something, but besides my memory, but there was you. Now that you're here, I can tell you that I was really scared that, uh, well, that we might never, never have this again. Who do you think that you married? I don't know. Hmm? When have you ever known me to give up on anything? Never. <laughs> Never, especially not when we're fighting. And especially not on us. <sighs> I felt my way back. You should. I couldn't have done it without you. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That was better than I remembered. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. I mean, not the yeah, other times were good, right? Those other <laughs> memories are still pretty good. How did I ever look at you and not remember you? I don't know. I love you so much. I love you too. Welcome home. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I never leave? Yeah. It's completely fine with me. <laughs>